it on that one. Hello, everyone. Face of here. Welcome to some quarantine. We got the whole team here. Well, not the whole team. We got most of the team here. Uh, we're missing Corin. We haven't heard from them. Uh, but Sulfur is uh, working. Might join later, but probably not. They have to work late. Um, and uh, so, sorry, Echo is uh, has a mig migraine. Is not feeling so well. So um, she may join in later. We'll still have to see about that. But we're excited to catch up on here. Uh, we're going to have to get Vasha into the party. Um, so we're going to be bouncing forth or back and forth with some of the parties until they group back up. But how you guys doing? You guys good? His neighbor? <gasps> no, no. Do not tell me my mic is muted. OK, it's not. <sighs> I thought my mic was muted through OBS again. I was going to be very upset. Although you guys are muted for me. There, try to talk. Hello? There it is. Hello. Okay, now I hear you. Uh, apparently the button did not unbutton. But, uh, okay, let's do a quick recap. Last week, um, the people that were here, uh, they made it to Honeywell. They interacted with a member there saying uh, that their recent deceased have been uh, kind of restless as of late. So you guys went up to a mountain to investigate. You guys got caught into a, uh, a gnarly storm, uh, took some crazy amount of damage for a storm. Um, but you did make it to a, uh, a kind of a, a cave, uh, which I probably should have, should have shared the image last week, but I forgot, but we'll get it to it this week. There, we're going to do a little bit of a retcon though. Um, you didn't make it, uh, you didn't make it into the cave, uh, just yet. Actually, you know what? We can go ahead and share that image right now. Hold on. Share. Okay. Did that open for everyone? Nope. Okay. Nope. So go to your images and uh, nope. open it up. It's, it'll be a cave map. Oh my god, it opens massively. Aha, I see it. Uh, I always hate trying to resize this. I don't know why they don't let you like grab all the corners. I like how it was very tiny for me. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Let me scale it, mm -hmm. bruh. Oops, now I minimized it. That's cool. I, dude, I can't. There it goes. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, actually, you know what? We can switch to the other scene. Oh, we lost the cereal. Something's happening. Um, let's see. So the recap is, uh, you guys made it to this cave. Um, you got the little, you know, bubble here. You guys all see it, right? Okay. So you got this little bubble here. Uh, that's where you made it in. It's a little bit of a, a respite from the storm. Um, but the, the door that you opened last week, which we're right conning, is actually right in front of you now. That This is going to be the entrance into more than just the mouth of the cave. Which, I should probably have some music sounds. There you go. Something. Um, let's see. Ooh. I like these cave sounds. Ooh, bats. All right. Okay, so what we're going to um, do... Basic, before you, yeah. before, you, before you go out, um, check your chat. Um, Corin is in your chat and explaining why she's not here. Oh, well, okay. Well, they're not here, sorry. Um, hopefully they're okay. Oh, Cor or you mean my Twitch chat? Mm-hmm. Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I... Yeah, I figured uh, you were in... Uh, some situations, Corin or Crimson, uh, because of what we you had been talking to me about. But yeah, we've been playing or trying to play every week again. So uh, we would be happy to ha have you. Of course, um, we've been talking in the the, the quarantine chat. Um, let's see. Um, but thank you for popping in. Um, in Philistine, I've been uh, wondering about you. I was gonna check in today, and I just totally spaced it. Um, let's see. Um. Sorry, I got another message and had to check. Uh, let's see. So you guys are in this cave here. Um, we're gonna catch Vasha up. So what I'm gonna do is Vasha, I'm gonna talk with you real quick. Um, we're so you had originally left Group Two because you had been accused of a crime and you had been um, not vindicated, but uh, 
absolved of it and you needed to go to a nearby town to i don't know fill out some paperwork or whatever to do some stuff so if you have an idea for a crime that you could have would have committed or been accused of committing uh, you said you had one what was it yeah so i befriended a tiger um and brought the tiger with me into um, a nearby village where the tiger ate all of their food um and so i was accused of stealing the food but really it was the tiger not me so i was let off the hook for it okay um did you get a fine or anything because you brought a tiger into a town that ate all the food yeah unfortunately i uh, had to pay a little bit you know just uh okay just uh, deal with it but i was not charged with stealing so that's good okay uh, maybe, maybe we can come up with something too, or uh, how that works. Oh, we lost the pancake temporarily. Okay, so um, Vasha, what we're gonna say is, you know, um, since you guys, group two, you had uh, you left pretty much Veilstone and came directly to, or we're going directly to Raska. Um, but before you guys left to Raska, that's when you heard about that you needed to go to get absolved with your crime. So you're like, hey, yo, I know how to get there. We. You know, here's there's a map, and you you took the deed of like, hey, we need work, so you knew where to get there. He said, "I'll join you guys." There was a, uh, I forgot the name of the town that was near Veilstone. It wasn't too far, so you were only, you know, a day's behind the rest of the team. Um, so you arrive in Raska now. Um, Sulfur is there. Uh, the reason why he stayed behind is because he uh, he's pushing his forge abilities to helping rebuild rebuild the town he, um, and he said he would he could catch up later but the other group is that is going to investigate um, some strange anomalies that had happened and he was going to wait up for you as well um, but he is finding that if he can stay a little bit longer in the town here he could actually help get this ta the town somewhat more stable so people aren't like you know having to bunk up anymore they can have their their necessities pretty much nailed down but he fills you in with what he knows um he says you, you know go talk to eldred or eldred uh he'll get you to where you need to go um but as far as he knows there's some sort of crazy anomaly uh that is happening he fills you in that the veil stone is one of the five stones of power of, of the uh, five world stones and they are try to help keep a balance of the world and um some of them seem to um you you activated one the veil stone essentially and uh after that got activated uh this crazy anomaly started happening in a nearby town so you can go talk to eldred um if you have any questions about anything you can ask now um otherwise we can try to speed through to get you caught up to the group you have questions we can speak there okay that. um so essentially what's gonna happen is you're gonna go talk to eldred um you you can introduce yourself as hey you were you were held up or whatever he kind of fills you in and kind of just strokes his beard a little bit and thinks it's like well how could we how do we get you to where you need to go without and how are you going to find your friends um in case they left honeywell um and he goes oh wait that uh, that foolish rogue of friend of yours when uh, he tried to sneak up and scared me, and uh, that you, you you remember when you pink blossomed that stuff? Yeah, I'm using I'm using that. Um, Go for it. He's like uh, one of the uh, the ingredients we use to open one of these portals, um, to force open this portal rather, uh, is very volatile, and uh, it can actually be tracked by uh, by one of these uh, flame birds, and he holds up like a little red and orange and yellow like hummingbird creature and he says if you're looking for this kind of concoction this thing can track it so please do take care of our little friend here but you will be able to track your friends with the use of our little bird friend here we should probably name him because i already love him um nugget. He... nugget all right i like it nugget his, his name is nugget um he kind of you, you hold out your hand, and he kind of hops onto your hand. You 
curls up and just kind of squeaks. Um, so uh, he looks over at his fellow mages and says, "All right, everyone, let's do this again." Um, and uh, they the the portal was they had to force it open last time, um, because something was interfering with it for some reason. And they're you know they're exhausted. They're they're preparing. It's like, all right, we got to do this again. We're probably gonna pass out. But for some reason, the portal opens with ease this time. They didn't have to use uh, the ingredients in the strange, you know, uh, magics that they needed last time to force open this portal. This one kind of just nicely opens up and you can actually see clearly through the portal the, the mage tower that you need to get to that's going to lead you to Honeywell. And uh, Aldred is looking a little bit uh, confused as to what could be causing the portals to either be almost impossible to open and all of a sudden they can open just fine but it's a clear portal and uh you step right through um once you do nugget kind of parks up and kind of looks over to the east and flirt flutters a little bit and that's the direction you got to go um essentially you're following the uh the chem trail left by Lushu when he scared uh, Eldred and got that pink explosion around him. I'm useful. <laughs> Let's go. Um, essentially, uh, that's going to lead you uh, to Honeywell. Um, since you have this trail to follow, you can actually move at the speed um, that they... At the speed, at least, that uh, your team members made on how to get through. Um, you make it to uh, actually, you know, that's where we're going to switch. Um, okay. Other party. Do you have any questions, Basha, I should ask? No. You good? Okay. No. Sorry, that was a lot of exposition. All right. Party one. You guys, the storm, it's kind of, uh, had been raging around. And, uh, you guys make it to the mouth of this cave. Uh, provides a little bit of respite. You guys are protected from the, the howling winds that were uh, definitely causing some stress and damage to the party. Mm. And uh, you guys come in here running out of breath and uh, you make it to this mouth of this cave. You do see this big stone door as we described last time. There's a there's like a big giant and he's pushing the door and then on the other <laughs> stone door there's a like a magic person holding a, a wand at the, the door. How do you proceed? Hmm. <clears throat> so, anyone have any uh, guesses on how we want to go? The um, the guy with the wand and whatnot. Um, what kind of stuff is he wearing? Does it like scream bad or like good? Like, is there like some sort of aura coming up of him, or does he look normal? Uh, so it's like it's, it's like a cave carving, right? So it's as best they can do. He looks he's got like a wizard hat oh, and some robes. An actual person. We said this last time, so I don't yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just cave person. carving. Oh, okay. No worries. Uh yeah, it, um in that case, purely just to escape the outside, I think Lucy's gonna put his hand on the door and attempt to open it. Okay, so you're gonna you're oh, gonna wait, push is... it up. Alright, what? I was gonna ask, is there any writing? That I can make out on the outside of the door? Nope. It's just uh, those those two uh, drawings, I guess you'd call them. Carvings? That's... Okay. And uh, you, you push this open, Lucio? Uh, actually, before I do that, um, can I do some sort of like check on the door? Like history check or I can't check to see if I recognize anything? I think you did that last time, and nothing really stuck out. Nothing happened. Yeah. Okay, again, sure, yeah, Lucy's gonna attempt to open the door. Okay. Um, so you can go ahead and move your character up to the door, and I can open it. All right, then. Uh, is it this way? Uh, it's oh, north. I didn't move. Yeah. Why can't I? My character's not moving, though. Yeah, it's not letting me confirm your movement. And let me zoom in. Oh, there it goes. Hey. Boom. Okay, so now you guys should see it open. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so you're at the 
the mouth of the entrance here and uh the door just kind of uh, you can tell that the the door has been you know recently used but uh, that's that's where you guys stand well considering nothing's happened at the moment um i'm gonna go ahead and oh, actually before i do go fully in um can you are... I, like, check for traps? Uh, yeah. Um, I forget what that is. That's oh, that perception. Right? Perception. Perception. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and see if you, you see any traps. Uh, that was almost a 20. <laughs> that was almost a 20. Almost. And then it dropped the zero. Um, no, you you don't, uh, detective, or you don't have any detection of traps. Okay, just because I can't detect them doesn't mean they're not there. Um, let me double check something. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm gonna take one of, like, a, a handful of um, ball bearings, which I have uh, in my inventory. I have a thousand of them. So I'll take out, like, 20. Um, and I'm just gonna throw them into, like, you know, the, the cave just to see if any sort of reaction happens, if any animals fly around like bats or anything. Just to try and get a better understanding of what's ahead. Sure. Um, so you take a handful of the barbarians and kind of scatter them around. And go... no, no, no such effects. Okay then. Well, um, Lushu is gonna walk in just to about here and wait for the rest of the party. Okay. Uh, before he moves, anyone else doing anything? I'm going to see if I can't uh, perceive any traps that he couldn't. Uh, so uh, go ahead and roll perception if you want. Okay. Give me just a second. Computer is super slow. 13. Uh, you also do not detect any sort of traps. Uh, your uh, detect undead thing that you had or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. primeval awareness, I think it was. Um, you still have yes. that up for the time being. Just heads up. Okay. Um, is that a concentration um, spell? I'm still perceiving undead. Yeah, you you can tell that there's some. You know, you don't know how many or where exactly, but within a mile radius, there's some undead around. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and follow Lushu inside the cave. Okay. Uh, go ahead and... I don't know which one's mine. Um... Oh, there I am. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and move your person. Alright, we're gonna... Boom. And... Boom. Alright. Lucia, your character's a little big. There you go. As soon as, uh... You step through the door, the ground around you begins to rumble. And crumble around. And, uh... Some... Oh, actually, you know what? Roll for initiative. Oh. Uh, Already? Alright. Oh, uh, we're gonna die. Whoa. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. That was close. Uh, 19. 18. Uh, oh my god, I have so many stinking windows open. Did everyone roll? We got... <laughs> Lushu and Pancock. Alright. Yeah, everyone, uh, go ahead and... Well, I guess, except for Basha. Roll for a niche. Oh crap. You know what? I don't have Kyrian. Uh. How do you not have Kyrian? There we go. Just pull him in. It's fine! There we go. Alright, where are you, Pancake? You rolled an 18. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Um drag Kyrian to you. Ah, it's making him evil. He's a friendly. There you go. All right. So, um, as Lucio, as you kind of walk through this area, the uh, the ground starts to erupt around you, and a bunch of skeletons pop out of the ground, <laughs> start grabbing on and uh, attacking. And with that, Lucio, your first steps. Let go. Um, okay then, I'm going to, um, let me double my thing up, alright, 
actions. There we go. Um, I'm gonna uh, attempt to attack uh, skeleton one. Okay. Um, and I just drag it onto him, right? Uh, the attack, yeah. Oh, wrong one. And you hit? Was that the right one? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, you hit him. Control skeleton okay. one. Um, that's with my main hand and off hand dagger, right? So nope. I roll both of them separately. Yeah, you have to roll them separate. But uh, no do your main right. damage first. The main hand. It's just a d4? Yeah, because I got two of them. So. Okay, I, I thought your main why. hand did more. Alright, seven and. five. Not bad. Uh, you gotta roll for your second uh, hand. Uh, the damage. I did. Or not damage, the uh, see if you hit. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yep. You're fine. And. 10. That one is a miss, so, so I have to take five damage okay. off. You hit. Seven's still not bad. Yeah. Oh, the actual the damage didn't go through for the second one. That's kind of cool. Oh, wait, you did seven damage to him? Yeah, uh, three. It's the 1d4 plus four. Um, yep. So, yeah, I got a three at seven. Why didn't it show you did damage? Oh, because you didn't drag it onto him. Hold on. Hey, should I reroll or are you going to nope. accept my damage? I, I can do it. Okay. There you go. Thank um, you. But the. He be dead. You, uh. Successfully. Oh, wait. Let's go. <laughs> Hold on. You only did seven. And he's undead. Seven, yeah. He's not dead. Okay. I was gonna say, wait a minute. Yeah, he's, he's still alive. <laughs> Next. Uh, oh, that's right. So I'm playing Echo for the time being. Uh, she sees. Technically, this probably should have been a, a surprise round, but I'm going to say that, uh, you know, the undead have <laughs> had to take a second to get out of the round. So you guys were like, oh, shit, and then try to reset up. Echo's going to move a little bit, and then she's going to Eldritch Blast. Oh, crap. I got to open her up because she's not in the party tracker right now. All right. Eldritch Blast. The one right in front of Pancog. Where is it? Eldritch uh, Blast. Five. Yes. Attack this guy. She hits him. And she murders him. He uh, completely just disintegrates. <laughs> Bones just kind of go splattering up against the, the back of the cave. <clears throat> uh, Pancog, it's uh, your turn and Kyrian. Um, okay. So, do, 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 do. since I already have my sword out because I had it taken out because at this point the bow is going to be ineffective, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna walk up and poke one. Move. <laughs> Move and attack, uh, I believe, Patrol Skeleton 2. Sure. <clears throat> Did I do that right? Uh, you hit him. Yay. <laughs> For the least amount of fucking damage. <laughs> um, and then Kyrian. I don't remember how I'm supposed to do Kyrian's. Um, open him up. You should be able to open him up. Right? You have, you have access to him? Okay. There you go. Something up. Yeah. Yeah, that's his stat sheet. Go for it. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna have him bite. I'm gonna move him. And he's gonna... I don't know how to get the, the attack, though. Uh, it'll be at the bottom of that list of his under actions so you'll where it says melee weapon attack just drag that onto the enemy okay give me one second no problem okay oh uh, no you you hit him do i yes yep and then uh drag the hit yeah you got it and you did dead. holy shit how much damage did you do he did eight damage my god yes um, how much was that one? That was Patrol Skeleton 2? Uh, yes. 
You did how much damage to him? Uh, I did three. You did three. That's right. Attack and then eight for curing it. Right. So yeah, he he is dead. Woo! Yes. One less undead. Nice. Taken right. out by a panther. All right, patrol skeleton three. Oops, that opened the sheet that I needed it, and uh, then I closed it like an idiot. All right, the skeleton recently animated out of the ground. Sees uh, Lucio right in front of him <laughs> and reaches out with his bony hands and takes a swipe. And Lucio, with his dexterous elfy self, <laughs> dodges out of the way. Fast as fuck. Uh, patrol skeleton two is dead. <laughs> patrol skeleton four comes over up to Pancog, does the same thing. Takes his bony fingers and takes a swipe. Natural one! Yes! And he he just kind of... <laughs> and misses. Um, Does that mean I can attack... Uh, I get an attack of opportunity? No. He just misses. But what he's going to do is... Uh, he wasn't fully, you know, put together. So I'm going to say that one of his arms <laughs> falls off. Nice. Yes. So that's why he missed. It's kind of fell off, and he's got to put it back on. See what I mean? You guys get ruined by nuisance environments, but combats, you guys just kind of walk all over it. Eva, it's your turn. Uh, so question. For using mm -hmm. the wild shape as a bonus action, um, do I have to move first and then do it, or is it wild shape and then move? Because I don't know if the bear will be able to squeeze past Echo, but I guess that's up to DM discretion. Um, okay, so you can wild shape whenever you want before or after a move um you'll be able to uh squeeze past echo just fine okay okay uh so i guess we'll do that first Burr. oh yeah this is the first time everyone's actually seen you transform except for zozo yeah they've seen you as a bear they've seen you untrans from a bear, bear but they haven't seen you go to bear <laughs> <laughs> Go to bear. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so actually, Pancog and Lushu might not even be able to see you just yet. <laughs> Echoes. What? It's just a bear coming oh, in behind us. Oh. They're about to see. Oh God. Wait, hold on. I <laughs> might. I might make Echo roll something. Um. Because you know they haven't seen anyone transform yet. It might. She. She might realize after. It's like, oh yeah, we have a druid, but. In that moment of fuck, a bear showed up and we're in a cave. That might be terrifying. <laughs> um, I'll think of it in a minute. But uh, oh, I gotta switch my Why fantasy grounds. There you go. God, you're huge. <laughs> Big bear. I'm a bear. Big bear. Uh, where is the combat tracker? Oh, there uh, it is. I yeah. found it. I found it. Uh, can I still attack after that, or is that my full action? Yeah, you can attack. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna take a swing at the one behind Lushu, I think. Possibly. Alright, let's... We're gonna homp him. Okay, so... Uh, you hit? And we're gonna homp. And that was Patrol Skeleton 3? Heck. Um, th that is piercing damage. And you did. You did six damage? My god. Alright, well, you uh, definitely murderalize that guy. Um, you have multi attack, right, so you, you can oh, attack again. I... Yeah. Oh, can I? Oh, alright. Uh, I guess then I'll swing at the other one. Why not? You nasty. Uh, you definitely hit. <laughs> My okay. god, dude. All right. Yeah, you killed that one too. Should we just let the bear do this? Yeah, she just. Like, you don't need... can... Why are we here? Eva just. Hey, hey, no, we love the bear. We love the panther. Do it because they're doing more damage. Yeah, than dudes. Than any of us. The fucking. Oops. Did I do the wrong thing. Just gonna take a seat. <laughs> just wait. There. The fucking animals doing everything. All right. Uh, there. That's uh, that is your turn. There we go. 
Uh, it is Zozo's turn. Wait, everyone's dead, right? Uh, nope. There's a couple I don't more. See anyone. You might have to move I up. I don't see anyone either. Uh, there's one next to Pancog. Is that? But should I be able to see that? I it, can't see it either. Oh, really? now I can see it. Oh, oh he he was accidentally hidden. Huh. I I misclicked. My bad. <laughs> Stealth uh, skeleton. It's fine. <laughs> Stealth yeah, again. Stealth again. Her little knife and tries running up behind Bear. Only to see the bear absolutely destroy everyone and just kind of <laughs> look around like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll wait here. Alright. And how do I finish Hello. my turn again? Where's that button? Um. Hello? If you push the arrow at the bottom, you can finish your turn, but you have an action still, if you want to use it. Oh, I do? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can really reach anyone. You have... Oh, uh, yeah, you might... You won't be able to stab him. Um... I did, I did say she had her little knife. Oh, yeah, could, you'd have to pull out your instrument if you wanted to play a song, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, so... If you want, you could use your action to switch, but it, this is up to you. I'm guessing that skeletons can be dead by the time it's your turn again. Yeah, I think so. It's a little just <laughs> tight. Just kind of run up as support, be like, yeah. Where is this arrow again? Um, at the bottom arrow. of the comment or uh, combat tracker. It's next to the dragon head. Um, I my note in. How do I? There it is. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna have to skip Vasha because she's not here. The troll skeleton is dead, so it's Lucia's turn. Okay, um. Seeing as I'm gonna attempt to walk, like, past, um, Kyrian, um. Because they're so. Are they in, like, big form right now, or. Little form? Kyrian? Yeah, he's. Every time they're, I'm assuming every time they go in combat. I can still, I can still get past him, right? Or would that be class as technically difficult terrain? It, it's difficult terrain, so it's just going to cost double movement, All but right, you can get past him. Turn, we'll say that's 25 right there. Yeah, you can get there. Uh, so, yeah. Sure. I'd like to move you... there, please, DM. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I'm going to attempt to hit skelly number four. Bear with. All right, rolling to hit. That's my main hand. Oof. Definitely hits. Very nice. Um, before I do my damage, can I do my offhand as well? Just so I haven't got to roll again sure. with my other one. Awesome. Um, this is the offhand, and that's that's a miss. That's a hit. Okay, then. That's a hit. Yeah, you're, you. Why do you have a plus seven to hit? My God. Because I got plus seven dex. <laughs> Oh, it's Definitely your it's right? it's like your dex plus your proficiency bonus. That's I right. Up a guy. Fucking. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that is a obnoxious modifier. Dead. Um, hold on a minute. So you did. This is your first attack on him. You did. Yeah. This is Skelly Four. Uh, okay. He's still alive. It just has unconscious effect. Unconscious. Yeah, because it, it's Fantasy Grounds isn't taking into account that uh they're uh, undead. Okay, fair enough. I yeah, fixed no, that. My second one missed, so. Um, oh no, your second one hit. Gonna... Did it hit? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's the second one. Wait, why was that two dice? Yeah. Hold on Do a minute. I have some sort of bonus that I'm unaware of. Actually, your second one. Did you accidentally hit advantage? Oh, actually, your second uh -huh. one did miss because. Why does it say it hit when it most certainly missed? Oh, because you have an ally next to you, so you get a plus two. So you oh. would have missed, but since Pancog is there, you got a, a bonus. Um, but yeah, why so did you? That extra dice there. I literally just rolled. I'll, that's I'll your... do it again. See if nope, nope. Go. You. Oh, uh, that's your sneak attack bonus. Oh. So yeah, you fucking. Damage. So sixteen damage altogether. You, m you murder him. He 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 did. He big dead. Yeah. All right. Um. I killed the dead thing. How come? Oh. Dead, dead. How come I can't un- there? Oh. That's why you guys can see him, because I had him selected, so it looked like he was always visible. Okay. 
Well, you guys what? successfully uh, put down this uh, skeleton kind of ambush that was set up for before you as you walked into this cave. Um, put it down we quite easily. Because of elements, but yeah. combat is very easy. Right. Um, okay, so you guys put down this thing or this thing, and uh, yeah, I guess this is you guys. You, you can knock down all these skeletons here. This is you. Um, I turn to Lucio and I say, it, it, it looks as if there's two separate paths we can follow in these caves. Do we go left or do we go right? What does everyone else in the party think? As you finish saying that, I'm gonna just point towards the bear and just <laughs> say, um, is, is no one gonna talk about this? <laughs> that looks to be the same bear that was in town when we met Zozo and uh, but Eva. D did you not remember that Eva is a druid? <laughs> She's gonna go back and say, I look at him like you just ran through painful rain. Excuse me for being a bit discombobulated. <laughs> <laughs> and, um. Well, I would hope that you would remember that one of your party members is a druid. They can change forms. Um. If y'all have ever seen that video of like the the lady like in the car waving at the bear in Canada and it like yeah. back. that's what Eva does <laughs> <laughs> just sits down yes yep. oh god damn it I fucking meme Amazing. Eva bear is like one of my favorite things <laughs> that's just her style Mason why is your screen frozen mine is it is yeah it? It seems fine for us. yeah it's fine with me yeah he's moving mm. Even OBS? Uh, Lucia... Let me exit out and then exit back in. Okay. Lucia's gonna ask the rest of the party what they think. Um, and if we can't decide, maybe we should just flip a coin. Left or right. This is gonna... Can I make like a sniff check to see if I can smell any... A sniff any, check? Like, a sniff check. <laughs> sure, you can make a sniff check. Is the greatest check. sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> Listen, if there's anything that she's got, it's a good nose. It's fine. Uh, Actually, yeah, just side note, I have to pause something. Um, oh. Side funny note, there is a spell that if you are uh, a servant of Tiamat, you, she can grant you a spell called like Dragon or Treasure Sense. And the somatic component is you have to... Sniff around while you're casting the spell to actually find the treasure. It's actually <laughs> part of the spell. Anyways, go on. Yeah, just to see if there's like any signs of people or more skelly boys in either direction. Not sure, sure but we'll find out. Um, good you are able to. I mean, you, you can't you can't discern. Um... Oh wait, but I could since I still have. Well, you only you just know that there's undead in a mile radius. <laughs> well, I still feel undead, right? Yeah, yeah, you still feel undead. Uh, okay, so I relate to the party. Hey, guys, um, I don't know about you, but I don't believe that those are the only undead around this place. I'm still detecting undead. Um, and Eva, well, you're a bear form. You're not going to be able to, you know, relay this ah. information. But uh, you you are able to uh, smell. You can't smell like any undead or anything. You do smell a faint presence of someone. Um, you also do smell some blood um, to the the left. The left, okay. So I kind of like motion over towards like the left. Like start not not like walking over, but like pawing towards the yeah. left side. <laughs> Bear wave. <laughs> yeah, everyone just thinks you're waving again. I just don't <laughs> Okay, uh, so what are you guys doing? Uh, Luke's just gonna look towards our druid friend to say, well, they 
We seem to know what to do when the skeletons came up. Maybe it's best we listen to listen to our bear friend here. And kind of usher people that start going towards the left hand side. Okay. And I'm gonna start taking a few steps actually. I'm gonna to go to about here. Okay. I'm feeling more's gonna pop up. <laughs> um before you move, we're gonna translate over to Vasha real quick. Vasha, oh, we need it. We need to pause the the ambiance here. Um, Vasha, you make it to the uh, the town of Honeywell, and uh, as you kind of arrive, there's a uh, you know what we need we need some sort of sound here. Um, it's a small little town here. Uh, you kind of arrive and uh, to the outskirts of the town, and as you do, uh, like a ball comes and like rolls into you a little tiny ball i'll pick it up and look around um look a, a little child probably about five or six kind of runs up big moppy haired kid you know dirt all over his face he's, he's been you know playing around with his ball and kind of comes running up stops at you and kind of Carnival's in yourself and says, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. He kind of just kind of rocks to himself a bit. He wants his ball. All hands out the ball to the, the kid. He, he kind of looks up and he reaches out for a second. And he pulls back. Mommy says I can't take things from strangers. Throw it, so I'll just throw the ball. Like a puppy, kind of <laughs> looks over and goes and gets his ball again. And kid, no regard for personal safety because they heal like gods. Jumps and dives and grabs it. And, you know, little ball for you, but it's probably about the size of his chest. He takes it, scampers off into a, you know, his little play area that he was in. And uh, there's there's a couple other kids there, and he's, he he drops it and tries to drop kick it and misses. Woof, foot goes straight up, misses the ball, picks it up again. And he keeps trying to do that. Uh, he goes off and plays with his friends. Uh, but you are just standing here in the outskirts of town, witnessing that. How do you respond? I guess I'll like walk into town and see if there's any adults around. I need an adult. <laughs> Need an adult. Okay. Uh, sure. You you walk into town. Um, you know, there, what did I say? There's like half a dozen houses or something. Um, it's it's kind of a nice little town. It's more of a like a temporary people. It's a pass through town. Um, it's not even on any maps. It's so small. But uh, uh, this is used for minor trade and some trading of or hunting stuff to get travelers to get in on their way. Uh, you run into uh, an older man, uh, Thomas. Uh, he, he sees you coming from afar and says, Ah! Another adventurer might be presume. Yes! How very nice to meet you. I was wondering if you knew where the other adventurers might be. Uh, you talking, uh, would, might you be friends? Of uh, some, those other ones that might have passed by. Dark looking fellow with pointed ears. Actually, you wouldn't know. You would, All you would there's know a, was Eva and Zozo. There's a short, yeah, there's a short... Um, uh, little halfling? Uh, halfling. <laughs> uh, who might have um, an instrument and a elf or bear, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> That you may have seen. Uh, I don't know about any bear, but yeah, this sounds like people have passed through. They, they passed through uh, half yesterday. Uh, Nugget kind of <laughs> flips because he's picking up on scent of the the concoction. He kind of looks over direction that uh, the party headed. Well, thank you so much for your help. No problem. Are you, you heading off to, to meet up? Yes. 
Yes, yes. Very good. Uh, is there anything that you might need? Do you happen to have any health potions on you? Ah, uh, sorry, my lady. We are but a humble town. We don't carry anything of the like. Basic furs, maybe some rabbit meat. But I apologize. That's okay. I I should be fine then. Thank you so much for your assistance. My pleasure. And as you start to walk away, he says, Oh, if you are headed up the mountain, please do be careful. As I said with your friends, the undead have become... Our, our recent deceased have become mighty restless of late. Do take care of yourself! Thank you! And I just kind of like nudge Nugget. Mm -hmm. Hey, like, show me where we're going. He kind of, he, he flutters a bit and leads you off in the direction to go. Uh, the, the kid in the distance, he kind of is holding his ball. He's watching you leave. Kind of bounces it. Then he goes back to playing with his friends. Um, you're going to be able to follow this trail um to follow the party uh pretty pretty well um because you have nugget so you'll probably take it a little bit less time uh to get through uh but now we're gonna transfer back to the party again okay now we gotta change music again back to the cave all right you guys uh Left off, Lushu, you said you were going to walk about 15 feet, yeah? All right, so you walk. And uh, nothing of uh, consequence seems to happen. Uh, I think you might be muted. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> I just said, for once, great. Nothing happened. I did a thing, nothing happened. Fantastic. <laughs> for now. For now, yeah, that's that's it, that's yeah. You guys For said now. you were gonna go left, right? I assume we're going left. Okay. So right now, there's no initiative because you know there's no combat. But um, you guys can go ahead and move your speeds, um, as you desire. Just make sure everyone, you know, moves. Oops. No, I didn't want to move, Kyrian. I am I'm in the wrong map. That's why. There you go. I can't move Echo? What is this madness? Is it control click to rotate or shift click? Shift. If you do uh, control, it'll make you bigger or smaller. Sorry. What are you doing? There it goes. I couldn't get Echo to move. That was annoying. <laughs> I just told you it's shift clift to rotate and uh, I use control. It's fine. Um, okay, so you guys are walking down the tunnel. Nothing of consequence happens. Could I make a, um, a perception to see if there's anything ahead? Sure. Anything done goes. Well, you, you won't need to make a perception, really. Uh, you're kind of within sight. Uh, you do notice that there's kind of a, an opening up, up ahead. Looks like it could be another mouth of a cave or a room. Actually, no, you see, there's a door. Door. Is there anything on the door? It looks just like a really crappy door. It looks like literally someone just pulled off a piece of a bark from a tree and just put it in place. Hmm. <laughs> Everything in me right now is telling me not to open that door, but I really want to. Um. Uh, well, let's play this What's stopping you from opening the door? The risk of my character dying. <laughs> uh, but I did just, I just, I just flipped my beard comb, barber club for yes, no sign, so I have a coin on me, so fuck it. I don't have a coin on me, it is. I've got to use what you've got, my dudes. Um, so yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm moving up to fate. I'm going to attempt to open the door. Okay, so uh, do, you, do you see it on the map? It's got that little jut. I put this one right here? Yeah, that's the door. Yeah. So yeah, I'll move over there. Um, okay, so the rest of the party, go ahead and move, I guess. Wherever you want. Eva, your your bear thing where it tells me to move is so much bigger than everyone else's. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, okay. 
So yeah, you're gonna open this door. Boom. <clears throat> the door is opened. Uh, you stumble across the room. You see, uh, Lushu, uh, anyone that is with immediate visible distance of it. Uh, you see a, a strong, deep, uh, blue glow coming from the entrance. Uh, it consists of, uh, many jars, uh, in the room. But, uh, you, you are in, you know, the outside of it. You haven't gone in yet. <clears throat> I haven't gone inside of it yet. Oh. Can I check for traps? Sure. Because if something's glowing blue, it's probably going to want to be protected by something. Um, where's my... There it is. That would be perception again, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, shum. There we go. It looks like... Uh, 16. It looks kind of like this is a, a place of... Maybe someone does some study, so you, you don't... Don't uh, detect any traps. Okay. Oh, if I hover over it, it says open. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, it does that for you guys? Okay, cool. You yeah, guys are opening. It, it you, open. you guys can open doors now can whenever can you're next to it. Can I uh, awesome. detect any magic? Sure. <clears throat> uh, skills. Is it Arcana? Yes. Well, Arcana is like knowledge of magic. If you want to detect magic, that's a spell. That is a timer, though. Y'all roll for initiative. Well, I don't have detect magic. Uh, I was about to say, is that coming from the game? That's, uh, that's initiative can just, again. Can I see if there's... Uh, can I feel if there's any arc magic being used in this area? Uh, that would be a detect magic spell. Um, you did say roll initiative, right? Yes. Okay, there you go, ten. No! Okay. We're gonna start dreading that beep now. We're <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> oh god, no. Why? Oops. That's right, get all your bad rolls out of the way now, my dude. Easy. <laughs> I got all my bad rolls out in the last 17 sessions. <laughs> Do I wear is? I don't think it has an initiative check on the bear sheet, does it? Unless I'm blind, which I might be. Um, It uses your basic uh, stats. For initiative and stuff. Oh, okay, I need to. Um, I need to roll a die as well. Ooh. Okay. Which one would I use for for initiative then? Um. So, you. if you open up your character sheet, I think you should be able to see just your initiative, right? Uh. Let me see if I can yep. get back into the character sheet because it's it forces me into the bear sheet when I have. Really? Um, yeah. That's annoying. Um. I can roll it for you if you want. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you got a seven. Uh. All right, did it actually apply is the question. Don't forget echoes. Oh, right. Thank you. Um, where is... Eva, where are you? Oh, there you are. You rolled one less than you did last time. <laughs> All right. Slow but powerful. That's fine. Echo, where are you? Ah, not that. Characters, echo, in it. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, and uh, you guys kind of you. Can, oh god damn it! I keep pulling the wrong thing. As you guys are sitting here, I have no room on this stinking area. Okay. Six skeleton burst. Oops, from around you. Wrong thing. Delete. Shortcut, yes. So how did Kyrian end up with a higher uh, <laughs> initiative? It'll go at your initiative. I just have to change it. What was yours? Uh, five. five. Oof. Come with Echo. I don't think Vasha's rolled though. For initiative, but she's uh, in. Yeah, she, she's in the she's in the combat tracker, but that's just for simplicity. Initiative for NPCs. There we go. Um, no. Kyrian, your initiative is five. Stop lying. All right. So, these, uh, Skella boys. Oh, I should probably place them, huh? Where you see them. They just kind of erupt from around you. How come you guys can't see them? 
Oh, there it goes. Oh, we saw him then. There we go. It's just taking a bit, apparently. Sorry, the downside of having a time-based thing is I can't predict when all this is going to happen. All right. And one more. All right, everyone's up. Uh, it's Skeleton 7. Well, pops up from the ground. Where is he? Skeleton 7, where are you? It's so hard to see those numbers because all my numbers are white for some reason. It's going to take a swipe at Pancog. No. Because you were right there. And it hits. The first hit from a Skeleton. And you take three damage. I'm already at 14. <laughs> Eva, it's your turn. Good thing you stayed in bear. Lower down. Huh? I thought it was lower down. I thought my initiative was only seven. It is. Why didn't, didn't it change? There it goes. Well, Sorry. So it's Lucius' turn, right? Um, oh, It my. would be Lucius' turn, yes. Okay, shit. There it goes. Um... I'm within range of number nine and seven, right? Even though, because the squares seem a little bit messy. Um, nine. Uh, seven, no. Yeah, seven, no. You're outside of range. Okay. Um, well, I can't really go down or to the right. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move one up and attempt to attack number seven. Uh, actions, here we go. Okay, here's my main hand first. 17. That's a hit, right? That is... Um... You didn't drag it on the dude, but it would hit, yes. Okay, and I'll do my offhand as well. Before I do my damage. Offhand, 19. Yep, that one hit. Okay, then, so both. Alright, and uh, first... Main hand, damn it. Oof! Eight and, <laughs> and okay, that one killed it. Fifteen. Nice. Let's go. Uh, that was seven. Nice. Revenge. Right. <laughs> Skeleton deserved it. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna um. Uh, actually, I still have uh 25 feet of movement, right? Because I only moved up one five feet. Yes. Okay then. I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna move back to where I was. Okay. Because if I were to move um, to the left again, would these guys get attack of opportunity on me, or is it only if I pass them? Uh, you're talking like number nine. Six. Uh, sorry, no, six and eleven going into the if, room. If you move up to them, they will not get an attack of opportunity. If you move through them or like past them, they would. So you could then walk up to them. I would like to move here if that's okay. Sure. Yeah, that, that's, that'll be my turn then. Awesome. Alright. Go ahead and pass turn. I'm not gonna lie, I've forgotten how to do it. Uh, combat tracker, the Let's little arrow at the bottom. Now I see it. There, there you go. go. Thank you. No problem. Alright, Skeleton number six. He sees uh, you walk in the door and <laughs> hobbles on over. At me, bro. Come on. <laughs> and then he's going to. Do a swing at thee? Oh, really? Nah, I'm pretty sure that, it, it, that doesn't. What is your fucking AC? How did that 15. miss? <laughs> AC fifteen. He, he missed by one. See, I, I just did like, like, like he a missed by one. Look really cool. That's it, a neo. The neo zombie stuff. or the the skeleton <laughs> like scratches at you, and you just barely just you feel the wind and like bits of the flesh from the skeleton just kind of. Up against your face, but uh, you dodge it. Zozo's turn. All right. I uh, just got her little knife. She's gonna run up and try to slash at him. Oops. One second. Number twelve. You hit. All right. I hope it hits. Yeah, that was... Zozo with the stab sticks, man. <laughs> Alright, you did some damage. But he's right. still standing. Eva's turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a swing at number nine over here. 
Okay. And by a swing, I mean I'm gonna bite him first, and then I'll swing at him. Hit. Here, there we go. Pump. <clears throat> Oof. One swing, and you take him down. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. That was number nine. Where is number nine? Good job. You, you, your big old bear mouth just makes him crumble into a pile of bones. And me thinks I'm going to try to take care of number 12. You hit. Ah, and get wrecked, son. Yeah, you oh. murdered him too. Jeez, dude. <laughs> oh, you guys are attacking the ones that haven't even gone yet. Smart. All right. Fucking. Yeah, see? Low-level druids are so strong. It's insane. <laughs> All right. Um, ten co- Oh, no, sorry. Echo. E Echo's turn, yep. Echo is... I have to open up a sheet. And... Is there, there's no skeleton alive. That she can... Oh. Actually, she totally has line of sight. Um, let's see. It's going to Eldritch Blast, the one that is uh, right inside the doorway. It's going to get partial cover because... Be with disadvantage then? Um, it increases the AC by two, I think. I always forget how that works, but we'll just roll. She rolled a 20. Um, nothing crazy happens with it, but she definitely rolled a 20 and is going to blow the fuck out of this thing, apparently. Here you go. Oops. No, now I can't see. No, I, is Lucia gonna take splash damage? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. There it goes. It's a critical hit, too, so... Yeah, it just... <laughs> just... <laughs> it's dead. Yeah, it's that dead. thing just exploded. Alright, so... Lucy was just standing there, just barely managed to take dam or miss taking damage from the skeleton, and all of a sudden, a big, dark, purple energy ball just comes flying in, like, flame. Just comes in and... and explodes, and this thing just splats and explodes up against the wall. Uh, uh, skeleton dust. Yes, yeah, <laughs> skeleton dust. Brushing it off your shoulder. <laughs> Alright, that one's dead. Jeez. Want to unselect. There it goes. Um, so that would be Echo Pancog. Um, so I'm gonna move up five feet up to the skeleton. Okay. And I'm going to swing at it with my short sword. Go for it. You definitely yes. hit. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's still okay. standing. And then Kyrian's gonna move over here. Okay. And then he's gonna take a bite out of it. Why didn't it move? That was weird. Okay. Bite, 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 bite. As long as it hits. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead and do the damage. It has one life left. Boom. It's dead. He's dead. 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 He did, did. The dead has been re -dead -dead -dead. Okay. And since I still have movement left, I'm going to line up with Lushu. Okay. And Kyrian's going to be right behind me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that ends my turn. Combat tracker down. There's one more skeleton alive. I can't believe it. He's gonna <laughs> waddle on over to the the pancake or pancog. Oh no. And take a swing and a hit. Damage. Blam. It definitely hit. And oof. You just took max damage from him. Uh, seriously, I feel like you're trying to kill me. <laughs> they're they're mindless. They go for whoever's closest. 
Oh, that's Basha. She's not in the yeah, tracker. I'll make sure that I push Lushu in front of me. <laughs> Lushu's turn. Okay, I'm gonna move. Oh, eh. no. Okay, and I'm going to attack. Um, main hand. Dirty twenty. Yep. And offhand. Hit. Twenty-one. Yep. Uh, damage one, six, and damage two. Yep. Damn. You, you did. Twelve damage. Holy crap! All right. Uh, boom. He's down two. All right. You guys successfully managed to take down another patrol that seems to pop out of the ground. Um, I guess at this point. What? What do you guys do? Um, well, I'm definitely going to cast Cure Wounds at a second spell level slot. Okay. On yourself? Uh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> if it would actually let me do that. Um, you got to drag it onto yourself. It won't let me. Pain cog, actions, Cure Wounds, where are you? Uh, so expand it, and then if you just drag the 1d8 plus 1 on you, it should heal you. I'm, I'm oh. literally trying, but basically it's not letting me. You accidentally copied this spell. There you go. Um, here. Hancock. Oop. There you go. You healed yourself for 4 damage. Uh, oh wait, you did um, it- you did it at second level, so it doubles it. Yeah. Okay. Let me do it again. All right, you hit yourself for eight damage. Okay, and I feel like, just to be sure, I'm gonna take one of my three health potions. Okay, um, you used a spell slot last time, right? <clears throat> yeah, the first level. Okay, uh, let's mark that one off. And you're gonna take one of your health potions? Yes. So that one, you can, uh, you want me to do it or do you wanna do it? What do I roll for a potion? Um, if you go into your actions under your equipment and items, there's a potion of healing in there. You just expand that and then drag that over to your name and the combat tracker. I'm going to have you do it. Okay. Um, boom. You heal yourself for eight. Wow. You just yes. healed yourself like crazy. Okay, so you are down a health potion. Okay, I'm, I'm, I feel better now, <laughs> but I'm not Just nearing death. Touch yourself and gulp, throw down some potions. All right, you guys are uh, in this cave, or this little, the room you guys kind of have walked in a little bit here. Uh, the rest of the party, if you want to move uh, to be in here as well, you can. Um, but there's a, you have, there, there's a bunch of jars all around the place. You said they had a blue aura as well, right? Um, yeah, there's a blue glow in the in the room itself. Can we tell where the like glow is coming from? Is it coming from one of the um, like things itself, or is just the room's blue? Um, if, upon further inspection, you can uh, you can glean that it's coming from the jars. One jar specifically, or all of them collectively? A bunch of them. You know, there's there's quite a few jars in here. Hmm. Um, there's a bunch of notes scattered all around the room as well. Are we able to read those notes? Are they in a language that we understand? Uh, if you pick one up, you, you could read it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm guessing you mean like they're on the table here. I mean, um, they're they're all across the table. There's some on the floor. You know, this okay. this is a study room. It's it's kind of clean. Uh, you know, considering in a cage. Okay, well, Lucius going to move there um, to where the L-shaped table is, and if there's any notes on the ground on the table, I'm uh, going to, yeah, attempt to pick it up and read. Sure. Read and see if I can make it out. Um, as you're kind of shuffling through some notes here, uh, you are able to determine a, a, a few things. Uh, you are able to determine that there's a, you're in, the, this is a layer of a necromancer known as uh, Zalver. Zalver. Um, 
And uh, it, as you guys are scamping around, uh, you can find some, you know, a couple gold coins. There's some paper and ink. Actually, I have those as a parcel for you guys, so I can give that. Since yeah, can I take those gold coins? <laughs> Here. Thief, um, thief traded. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Um, Insert classic. It's what my character would do. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How come the parcel? Oh, add to party inventory. There you go. So your guys's inventory now should. Let's see. I want. I would just want to double check. So okay, cool. So if you guys open up your part, the party sheet, um, your inventory. You did find some coin. Um, it it already put it in your guys's inventory. Uh, but you also, it's, as you're rummaging it's through, gold hasn't gone up. Has it not? No, I'm still at 218 gold. I'm still oh. at 268. Okay, I'll I'll the. You guys can go ahead and add yourselves like two gold each if you want. <laughs> there there wasn't much. It was just like a little satchel. Um, but you did notice that uh, through your rummaging, you did find a uh, a, a scroll. That, uh, seems pretty significant. Um, as you kind of lose you, you, you know not being a magical person, but uh, you are able to discern some notes. You see, these words hold great power over my minions. Vas hoit great soul. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that letter, um, or scroll, I'm gonna place it on, I don't know if you can see, but this table here, don't move me, but, uh, p place it on the table, um, so everyone can kind of read it, um, and just ask, uh... You said don't my... move you? Do you not want to move? Yeah, don't, don't move okay. me. No, don't move me. I'm just saying that's where I want to put it. Okay. I'll put it on the table in the middle of the room. I'm okay. guessing it's a table or like, you know, a slab or an altar or whatever it is. Sure. Um, I'm going to put it down and sort of turn the piece of paper so it's right way up towards the rest of the party, as you can see there, towards the door. Mm -hmm. Um, And ask if uh, anyone can decipher this, if anyone knows what it means, if anyone's heard of any of these words before. Um, I go up to the table. Where Lee shoots at, and I decide to take a look. What language is it? Is it in? It's common. It's in common. Yeah. Okay. Um, am I able to see if there? Do 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 do. Because I. Do 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 do. So since we know it's magical and we figured out it's a necromancer's lair, can I can I see if? Well, no, because you said Arcana is what. There's the history of magic. Yeah, it's just like basic knowledge about magic, histories of magic. Would I be able to check to see if I might know if there was a necromancer reported in this area? Uh, well, the notes that you guys scattered through has already confirmed that you're in a layer of a necromancer. Right. Okay. Um, well, then, uh, never mind. I look, just look at the scroll and I, I say, um, I think the best person to discern this would be if either the druid or Echo as the most magical people in our parties. I then decide to move away so that there's enough room for the, the bear-shaped druid <laughs> to uh, rah, Well, yeah, so um, I guess Echo's probably the only one that could uh, identify anything here. Well, at least with a higher roll, unless uh, Eva wants to pop out of a, a form. But I'm assuming Echo would do a roll, see if they knew anything. Um, yeah, skills... There you go. Arcana. Okay. Um, Echo spends a few minutes just reading over uh, reading over the notes over and over again, seeing if she can uh, discern anything from it. Um, okay, so now, if you guys open the scroll, it should tell you what it is, hopefully. Um, you guys, do you guys see it in your inventory? Yeah, I can see it in the party sheet right. inventory bit. You see a repel me um, or the in the parcel items? Yeah, but I can't oh, like click on it. The only description it says incont uh, 
Incantation scroll. I'm saying that word wrong, I know. Incantation, In incantation yeah. Yeah, incantation scroll. Okay, so does it, did it that. change now? Repel minion. Perfect. Okay. So can you guys, you can open it, right? Uh, I mean, I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Oh. Casting time. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'll let you read this thing, but you can actually read uh, it now, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, um, repel minion. Rarity, very rare. Casting time, continual so long as being recited. Range of 15 feet. Um, duration, instantaneous. Whenever the verses of this incan... Oh, mate, this word. It's the only word I can't fucking say. Incantation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Incantation. The minions of being known as Zelva? Mm -hmm. Am I pronouncing that right? Zalvar. Zelva, sure. There you go. Zelva. Will be pushed away from the source by 15 feet by a dome of dome barrier of green energy. Okay. People and other creatures can move freely through this barrier, and it is possible to swing weapons through at the risk of weakening the strength of the barrier. You can also shoot ranged spells and weapons through the barrier, but only one person can do so at a time, as the faster moving object will cause the barrier to break down. Um, so we're going to say that Echo was able to translate that, uh, because it, it was just a, sc a scroll that you guys found, but the time she spent, you know, reading over it, she was able to discern all that information that th those words, Vas, are Vas Hoyt Gritch. So, if someone just uh, incans that over and over again, it'll repel any minions of Zelver by 15 feet. And with that... So, if we just say that word, they'll they'll be blasted back 15 feet? It, it, it's like a, a dome of protection of force. It just kind of moves stuff. Um, I was but about to what, say, it sounds very close to like Skyrim's dragon shouts. <laughs> it's like we say these uh, words and we push away. <laughs> yeah, you just well, it's like a dome around you too, so it's like behind. Yeah. Um, but with that, <clears throat> roll for initiative. Let go. Oh, you roll a one. Right, I got it out of the way. It's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's, it's initiative. It doesn't matter. It's fine. <clears throat> There's. Oh, wait a minute. Aha, I found it. <laughs> Excellent. Now, before this turn, can I say that I swapped out my uh, short sword for my longbow? Mm, I'll let it go and this time. My short sword. I'll, let it, I'll let it go well, this I time. Can keep, I can keep my short sword. That's fine. Okay. Um, but before we start this initiative, we're coming over to Vasha. Don't forget to roll for Echo. Yeah. Before that. Yeah, before we do, are you guys all rolled, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. As long as you guys roll, that's fine. Uh, oops, that's fine. Roll for initiative of these guys. There you go. Uh, we're going to go to Vasha. Vasha, you, uh, with the help of Nugget, you were able to make some really good time. Uh, didn't get caught in a, the crazy storm that the rest of the party did. Uh, you do see some... Uh, as you make your way through, you see some crazy effects. The branches and stuff have been blown to bits. You know, you know the forest has been pretty wrecked. Um, from what you discern, it seems to be, have done by natural, unnatural causes, I guess you could cause or call it. It looks like, you know, lightning and thunder, or not thunder, but very high winds, um, some very strong uh, rain uh, come down. But you being a nature cleric, you're able to discern that the storm didn't feel natural itself. Um, but you do manage to make it to the mouth of the cave. So we are going to put your character down so you can actually join the party. All right, let's grab you. Right there, I guess. Okay, so you're at the mouth of the cave here. Boom. And... Um, Actually, Vasha, go ahead and roll initiative two if you want. And then I gotta drag this skeleton. <clears throat> oh, nice. Skeleton. Oh my god, we're running out of space. <clears throat> we're gonna keep. We're gonna end up having a deep hatred of that timer. <laughs> Whoa, Zozo goes first. Holy shit. All right. 
Um, oh, Zozo's back. Cool. Okay. So, with that, um, more Skillamen have popped up from the ground. Uh, Zozo, go for it. Little stab. Hmm. Uh, definitely hit. And why didn't that do it properly? Mm, something weird, but uh, sure, you did damage. <clears throat> to uh, which one did you stab? Twelve. Okay. Or wait, seventeen. Seventeen. Cool. Oh, it did do it right. Okay, cool. Um, I guess that's good. Pancog! I'm gonna go ahead and move... to fight the skeleton. Okay. And I'm going to swing out with my short sword. Go for it. And critical miss. Okay, you just miss. Um, you're, we're gonna... The, the skeleton surprised you, you know, coming out of the ground. We're going to say as you go to swing for it, uh, just disturbing the ground and you you drop your your weapon. God damn it. Well, you drop your short sword, rather. Now you can get your bow out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> um, I get, so that's your turn? Uh, yeah. Unless I can, I can grab my... My bow, which I, I highly doubt at this point. Well, you can actually. You you won't be able to attack can I with grab it. My bow? Yeah, you okay, can grab it. I, I go ahead and grab my bow. Okay. Since I've dropped my freaking short sword. Ah shit! Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, uh Kyrian so can go. Kyrian's turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think you have him further down. Uh, he's in the top right of the corner, of the little cave. Right, but on the combat tracker. Oh, yeah. I mean, he—they he, always go at the same time as you do. It just always rolls his own initiative, which is annoying. Oh, can you not okay, move so him? I'm going to have him move twenty feet. Okay. And I'm going to have him bite the stupid skeleton. Okay. Fucking yeah, he rolled so low and he still hits. Good job. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Yes. Um, yep. <laughs> Did some damage. But, uh, my, he's still standing. Uh, uh, my crap injures me. Your what? Is he dead? No. He's still standing. God bless him. <laughs> Is that your turn? Alright, go ahead and pass. It's my turn. Uh, there you go. Alright. Skeleton 17. Uh, who's closer? One square. Uh, technically, bear is closer. All right. Bear is closer. Come, come over. Try to try to bite or smack the bear butt. <laughs> it touched the butt. Any hit? I can't believe it. Touched the butt. Oops. Come on. Damage. And Ouch. six damage to you. All right, Vasha, it's your turn. Vasha's joined. Well, she's found the cave. She doesn't doesn't know that she's joined the party just yet. We're, what we will say, um, actually, roll a roll a perception check, Vasha. Okay, uh, you don't. When you first enter the cave, you don't hear like anything that says that you know there's a, a struggle or anything going on so you just kind of taking at a leisure pace here uh but once you reach the mouth of the, the cave right there you do notice that there's piles of bones how far can i see uh it's it's somewhat dark in here but i, I think you can see 60 feet although like you are like right at the door right there though so i don't know if you'd be able to You'd have to like peer, like a step further. And I think you've yeah, moved thirty-five on accident. On my... oh. There you go. Well, I can move thirty-five. Oh, can you? Mhm. Mm Yo, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so if I click on you, you can see two skeletons in the distance and half of a bear. <laughs> okay. So I know I'm in the right place. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, how far are those skeletons from me? Um, that's probably like 60 feet. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, 60, 70 feet. <clears throat> okay, because my toll of the dead can hit at 60 feet, so. I wonder, can we grab that and it'll tell us the diff or if you're within range? That'd be kind of neat. All right. Oh, nope, you're slightly out of range. Okay, Um. so I guess I'll just kind of um chill back here um okay yeah uh go ahead and pass turn bear yeah, i'm gonna hit the one that smacked me in the butt go for it <clears throat> jeez yeah you definitely <laughs> hit it is time for revenge and you took him out barely. Neat. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with the claws for the one next to him. Two 18s in a roll. <laughs> yeah, you hit. It's happening. Once again, oh my right. god, dude! <laughs> just murdering the shit out of these guys. <laughs> Everyone should just like. Everyone should just sit down and drink some ale. Honestly, why the hell are we here? There's no need for us to be in this cave right now. Just set the bear through. Fucking tank. The bear or the panther could carry it every single time. All right. And I suppose can I still move after that? Yep. Okay. There's so many bones just hanging out. As you move in, you knock all of the jars over. Listen, I never said I was graceful. Uh, Lucio, your turn. <laughs> okay, um... Well, I, I think number 30, you know, it's kind of a bit in trouble with everyone around it so far. So I'm just gonna move... Oh, there. And attack number 16. Now... I'm guessing it's just the way they're laid out, but... Uh, oh no, he would have seen me, so I wouldn't have gotten, like, a sneak or anything. Right. Okay, I'm gonna action. Here we are. Okay, here's the main hand. Oh! oh! Nice. <laughs> Alright. Alright. And offhand. Oh, wait, should I roll damage? Yeah, roll damage first so, so you get your damage. Okay. Alright, there's that one. Uh. Ten. You killed it. Yeah, why well, didn't it? Oh, yeah, you, you totally take it down. Easy. Good job. Uh, yeah, that'll, just, that'll, somehow uh, you yeah. just are able to sever his head from. Actually, I should just let you describe it. I should. If you guys get a critical, you guys, I'll let you describe it. All right, then. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna evolve it a little bit. So I'm gonna turn, slice through the, the neck bone, take the head right off, and with the offhand dagger, just kind of twirl it in the fingers with a smile on my face. Nice. Okay. And bear with me. Combat tracker and turn. There you go. All right. It's Echo's turn. Uh, is there any skeleton alive? Uh, 15 and 13. Uh, yeah, the one directly in front of her. Okay. They don't show right for me right now. So 15 and 13. <laughs> yes. All right. Echo, open up your sheet. 15 and 13. Oh, Eldridge Blast. And they're out of range, so she doesn't take a negative. Oh. Why? Well, it made a roll at disadvantage, even though she's not in melee, but it's fine. She still hit. Death! The Skeleton! That was a two, and it turned to an eight. And it's dead. Whoop. Boom. All right. Skeleton 15. Is unconscious. Um, he shouldn't be. Yeah, why is he 
not. Why is he showing up in the combat tracker? All right, uh, Zozo's turn. Why didn't it move you? There it goes. Uh, nope. Hang tight again. Did you mean to pass your turn? Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's Pancake's I'm turn. I'm gonna let Kyrian handle that. <laughs> I'm just gonna have Kyrian claw at the stupid skeleton. Uh. Oh, geez, did you? He rolled a twenty. Oh my god. Okay, no so. Bowling. All right, so <laughs> you can explain how Kyrian probably murders him. Yeah, totally murders him. Uh, he has his giant panther claws out, and he just rears back his paw, and with enough force, wrenches the the skeleton skull from his neck, and um, kind of shakes his paw off as it, and the the head rolls across the floor. Cool. <laughs> just does what Lushu does, but with his paws. Lushu's gonna turn over yeah, and give that was anime was thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. And he's got the, the cat of caught the canary look on his face. Kind of like pancake at the moment. I did it. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys managed to take down yet a third patrol of skeletons. Hey, this time we didn't take nearly enough damage. Um. So, since now we're out of combat, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my short sword and stash it away again. Okay. So, uh, short sword sheathed. How are you guys pursuing? Or continuing? Um, I don't know that they're done with the battle. I just saw mm -hmm. a bear run into the room, so I'm going to, like, run up, like, all, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm here! I'm, I'm here. coming, bitches! <laughs> Sure. So yeah. You run all up. Go ahead. You can move your character. Oh, if you want me to move just 35. Or no, you, you can move the full way okay. if you want. Okay. I'm just going to, like, run up here. Like, <laughs> like ready to fight. And, like, I'm here. <laughs> like, everything's already dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you, you arrive. Um... Just as all the other skeletons kind of fall to the ground and be murdered. Uh, this, this is you guys, by the way, so feel free to do whatever you're doing. Um, so we've already established that uh, Echo's already read the scroll. We know what's on the scroll, correct? Mm hmm Okay. Um, I turn to my party members um after you know giving the the new person a very side sidelong glance and hearing uh prolonged eye contact several <laughs> times um say to lucio and echo so now that we have established that we know on this this parchment this, this spell incantation um and we've gone through three waves of undead. I feel like the further we go, the more waves of skeletons we'll face. Um, just out of character real quick, the skeletons. This um, uh, scroll, the repel minion, are the skeletons his minions? Or does he have, like, a specific, like... From what you can discern. We... As I said, we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. we, we have to use it next time. Who has the scroll, by the way? Does no. Echo have the scroll? Because she was rolling, you, reading it, sorry. It's still on the table. Okay. I think it might be best if Pancog picks it up, because it said with ranged attack and all that sort of stuff. If I use it, I'm fully melee. Like, I've got a short bow, but I don't use it, to be honest. Um, Pancog is the, the ranger. But so I feel like Echo should, since she's the only one that can really even really use it. Well, you all can use it. It's just an incantation. <clears throat> You know, you just kind of recite it over uh, and over and over again. Well, the druid can't use it in bear form. Let's Correct. <laughs> Try to see them imagining trying to pick up the piece of paper scroll with the claws. And I'm assuming Zozo can't because she's mute. That's also true. Yeah. 
So what is the the class? Uh, uh, Vasha, Vasha, what is your class? We don't know what you are yet. Oh, that's right. You guys haven't met. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, so you just see this elf person just kind of rush up with a sword. Lushu, Pancog, Echo. No idea who this person is. Oh. Roll for... We, You guys have to roll for something to know if they're friendly or not. Uh, roll for perception. Perception? Uh, I, perception? Sure. Or insight? Yeah, roll for a... Uh, yeah, insight would probably be smarter, but... Oh, well, oh, oh, 20 doesn't matter. 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Well, well, I am completely aware. Okay, <laughs> okay, um, well, you roll a two, so, Pancock, we're gonna say that you do not notice, you know, Vasha running up, but, but that's because you are busy picking up your sword that you had dropped on the ground. So, yes. fortunately, you don't freak out. Um, Echo is going to roll... I mean, this doesn't make sense that it's in sight, really, but... There's a table right here, so I really wouldn't have seen her. Correct. Plus echoes in my way. And a giant bear. That's true. Um, and a giant bear. Echo is uh, busy, like, looking at the scroll again, so you're fine. But Vasha, you kind of stumble upon at least two of your friends or that you've met before uh, with a party of other people. Yeah, I'll run up to Eva and, like... <laughs> Excellent. Just run into a giant bear and powder. Okay. Yes, we're very friendly with each other. <laughs> okay, so you go hey, up and pat uh, Eva. Just a quick... Go ahead. Sorry, just a quick thing. Can we take a quick five minute break after yep. this before more combat? Yep. Um, also, yes. let's just do a, a mental health check and stuff. How's everyone feeling? Everyone good? I'm vibing. UK folks? Still breathing. Well, I guess it's just you, Serial, huh? Um, yeah. Are you still breathing. feeling good for playing? Yeah, Dick. Okay, uh, how, how much longer are you guys feeling good for? Do you guys have any plans for... Uh, I have work tomorrow, no. and it's 11 p.m., but I don't sleep as it is, so I can go with, like, three or four hours sleep. Jeez. Be fine. So I can go until midnight, like another okay. hour, maybe an hour and a half, roughly. One more hour good for everyone? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I was just thinking a quick bathroom break. Yeah, let's do a quick break. Um, also, I noticed that for some reason, Zozo's health stuff is not showing up properly, so that gives me a minute uh, to fix that. But uh, yeah, let's take a quick break. I can fix that and then, uh, I guess, say hi to chat and stuff. But all right, break time, my friends. Sound good. Catch you soon. Awesome. <laughs> okay, everyone's back. You guys ready to continue? Is everyone back? Actually, I should ask that. Yes. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. Everyone be back. Let's um get this going. And where did we leave off? Uh, oh, yeah. Vasha just showed up. Kind of surprised. Uh, Zozo and uh, Eva just, oh, yeah, friend. Uh, but the other two, three folks here have no idea who this person was. And they just kind of showed up weapon drawn kind of clad in armor, ready to rock. <laughs> with a cute little bird. Oh yeah, with Nugget. <laughs> oh yeah, so Nugget, when uh, he, you know, he, he tracked it to Lushu, um, <laughs> and he kind of, <laughs> it flutters and uh, lands right on Lushu's head. And starts kind of doing the little shimmy like he's gonna pounce. Oh, I'm a glare at Kyrian. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Nugget also noticing that there's a big cat there, kind of, and just kind of goes into Lushu's hood and then barks at Kyrian. Bird barks. I'll um notice Nugget kind of like cuddling up to Lushu and be like, yeah. "Hello, new friends." 
I'm gonna reach into my hood and take out Nugget and say, Is this yours? <laughs> Kale is still twitching. <laughs> Not necessarily mine. Um, Thomas back at Honeywell uh, let me borrow her. I'm Vossi. Whoa, like four of you said something at once. What? <laughs> I just said I'm Vasha, by the way. I'm gonna. I was trying to. Pan Pancake, you're breaking up. Uh, I. Can you hear me? Uh, I got Pancake's tail in my face. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, you, you. I think it gets quiet when, or you break up when you get quieter. You might have to speak up a bit. Okay. Um. So I asked. I said, "So the bird is a borrowed bird, is it?" As I attempt to grab Kyrian by the scruff of his neck. <laughs> what is the question? The bird is a bard? Is that what you just said? No, I said the bird is a borrowed bird. Oh. She said that she borrowed the bird. I heard bard too. <laughs> so, like, as. <laughs> and so. As in, if, if something happens to the bird by accident, it, it, it's to be expected. Well, Eladrid did warn Vasha that please don't have any harm come to it because it's it's a rare bird and they need it for finding their stuff. I am also very in tune with nature. I'm a nature cleric. And I do not like seeing harm come to things of nature, so... I'm going to protect Nugget with my life. <laughs> Just glaring over at Kyrian. Oh, snack. He's making making biscuits. Snack, 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 snack. <laughs> um, okay. So I guess uh Well, this is difficult because Eva is in bear form. So they can't vouch for uh Vasha and Zozo Zozo's mute. is mute. I mean, she she could communicate still, but uh, with words she can't vouch for. Growl at anyone who comes <laughs> close to Vasha. Absolutely. There you go. Okay. Uh, so how, how are you guys gonna proceed here? I uh, <clears throat> I kind of gesture at Lushu like, go on. You're, you're the one that usually makes introductions. Um, put on the spot much. Um, <laughs> so, wait, what is there? Okay, then. Um, so I rolled a nat 20 um, on knowing, like, the relationship between, like, you know, uh, the two party members. So, I, you know, it's all, all good, all bless. Um, so I'm just going to say, oh, I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't. I'm lost. <laughs> Words. Uh, uh, th that 20 was uh, more of a you realize that she wasn't a threat you know she wasn't the she wasn't the necromancer coming to show up <laughs> um echo is going to be observing the jars kind of thing and seeing if there's some strangeness about them uh she relays information that there there seems to be some sort of a life force uh instilled in uh, many of them Could we harness that life force? Maybe. Ooh. How would we attempt that? Would it be Arcana? Sure. Okay. Just thinking, it's probably worth Echo doing it because her Arcana is nuts. I've only got a plus one, so I don't think I remember. My rolls, dude, I don't think I'll well, be able to do anything with it. Let, let's not meta game. Uh, my Arcana is a plus four. So you guys can roll if you want to roll Arcana. Okay. 
Um, so I guess what what are you asking about Ar Arcana? Why are you rolling for it? That was to see if we could um, harness the life force, right? Is that what you're rolling for, Pancunk? Okay. Yes. Um, as far as you know, no. <laughs> or you guys couldn't harness it, anyways. Uh, I decided. <clears throat> Uh, I relay that to me, uh, it does not feel like we can uh, harness the life force uh, to my party member Lushu and Echo, since I'm still wary of Vashta and Eva and Zozo are kind of non- uh, talkative at the moment. Okay. So, what you guys know is uh, there seems to be some, some sort of life force in multiple of these jars and uh, seems to be getting jumped by some skeletons every now and then. How are you uh, going to proceed? I think we established that we either give the scroll to me or Echo, since we're still not mm. sure about Bashka, since she just rolled up in here and started petting the bear's head. Okay. Um. Sure, Echo can c carry it if you want. She kind of rolls it up, okay. stuffs it in her pack. I then decide to go ahead and scout ahead. Okay, go ahead and move your character. Outside of the room. There you go. Carry it follows. I'm gonna follow also. Bear. <laughs> sure. Uh, you guys can just move um, as a group if you want. I uh, don't need to do any sort of initiative stuff. Okay. Just moving along. Mm -hmm. right, I guess we're just trucking ahead, seeing what's up. Oh yeah, right. You, you big old bear butt, you can't move through walls. Um, can I see if there's any uh, traps in our way? Uh, you can roll perception. Yeah, I don't see shit. Yeah, you, you detect no, uh, I guess, traps in uh, the immediate vicinity. So you guys can keep on moving. Okay. I like that you guys are all being cautious with your, with your 20 moves. <laughs> I guess it's smart. So is this a doorway? Yes. To the left? Yes. <sighs> um, I go ahead and I turn around and I say, there, there seems to be a fork in the road. There is a hallway to the left or we can continue straight. What are your thoughts? Hmm. I think we should open it. <laughs> I think we should open it. This fucking rogue, open it. I agree with this, we should open it. We should open it. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna go and open it. You're gonna go open it? Okay. <laughs> I wanna let you move. It goes. I support um, this plan. Uh, go ahead and open it. It should let you, right? Uh, oh, hey. Yes. Nice. Okay, that's cool to know. Um, okay. You open the room. Uh, the room is, uh, it's, it's very red. Um, there are, uh, you kind of just peer inside ever so slightly, kind of on get, uh, guard here. Uh, there are body parts and full corp corpses just piled around the room. 
Um, I want to search the corpses. Gross. Really? <laughs> go for it. <laughs> go, go ahead and walk in. Gross, but active. Um, as you're walking through, you notice that uh, as you're kind of squelching and slipping on some, you know, rotting corpses here, that uh, there, there's a uh, there's some grating underneath you. Um, that is, it's to catch the blood in troughs. Uh, the smell is overpowering. Uh, roll a constitution check. I... Gross, okay. Nasty. Uh, anyone in the room rolls also, constitution. Ooh, nope, just anyone in the room. Uh, Lushu, as you, uh, step in, uh, trying to, you're trying to, your best to avoid body, or the bodies, but, uh, you kind of step into one and it squelches and releases the, a very putrid smell and uh you you begin to retch and vomit everyone's moving in there all right everyone that walks into the room is has to roll a constitution um hey hey oh is a 14 okay uh that's not i'm going through so eva uh roll another constitution because you're just going to be at disadvantage because you're you have keen senses oh, okay. Okay, so that one's lower. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Lucy failed. Hancock, you you managed to choke down the. Uh, oh wait, yeah, you you managed to choke down your, your the gag reflex. Uh, bear, you are vomiting bear guts, whatever you ate the night before, just all over the place. Bear vomit. Um, Lucy, or everyone else that's deeper into the room, you, you notice there's a there are a bunch of torture tools and other equipment. Uh, that's used for just like removing port parts of corpses and stuff. Um, upon uh, further investigation, um, you notice that the eyes have been uh, blackened out. You have no idea how much I want that in real life. <laughs> um... Oh my god. <laughs> one day, one day, dude, one day. It's hilarious, dude. They're awesome. Um... Okay. Hmm. I blacked out. Um... <laughs> can I take like, a close up? Um, can I? Go on, my book. What kinds of tools are these? Just very, like, torture tools. It's stuff to, like, just gnarly rip off, like, chunks of body parts. You just. Whatever your wildest imagination is a. Uh, Nasty. In Civil War era. Uh, sure. Surgery tools. Sure. Like hand saws and rusty scalpels. Yep. And rusty knives. Yeah. If if someone's living in here, they did not have a good time. Can I do a check to see if I know of any type of magic that would um make the eyes blackened? to give some sort of insight? Um... What would that be? Uh... Like if there was anything in history with similar... Someone got excited. What was that? I said I can. That's true. Oh. You guys know what time that is. Oh no. No! Roll for initiative! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, a 20. Hey, 19. Yeah, we roll in big time, boys. Let's right. go. Let me get Echo. All right, take it back. <laughs> Echo. Roll for initiative. Where is it? Boom. And then I got to roll this. How many show up? Oh, God damn. Making my life hard game. Or rolls, rather. Okay. Here's a bunch more skeleton coming in to join the party. Just erupting from the ground. You, I think you really need to invest in undead skeleton noise. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Somewhere. They need to roll for initiative. Initiative. NPC. Okay. Top of the initiative order. Lucio, you're a go. Hello. Nope. All right, 
Alright then, I'm gonna move over towards. Uh, let's get it in 20. And attempt to hit him with my main weapon first. Yep. Yep. And second of my offhand. Yep. Yep. Uh, first damage. Good Ooh. Roll. Good damage. And second damage. Down. That'll do, pig. <laughs> you good? Oh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. I thought it was Emma's <laughs> It's good. There we go. Pancog. Here go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have Kyrian attack first. Okay. Since I have my bow out now. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> and he's going to bite. At skeleton twenty-two, and he hits. Does a nineteen hit? Mm-hmm. And yes. <laughs> just enough. He yep. Did. Yep, he did. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, so then I'm gonna take aim. Uh, do 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 do. do. Let's see. Uh, do do do. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to help me here with that. Sure. Um, because for some reason, my spells don't want to work. All right. Hunter's Mark, is that a spell or an ability? It says it's a spell. Okay. So that will be a first level spell. So we got to mark one of those off. Boom. Uh, who do you want to cast it on? But I think it's up to 90 minutes. Uh, skeleton 18. Skeleton 18. Okay. Hunter's Mark. Where'd you go? Whoops, sorry. I was just marking that off because I forgot earlier. You're good. There you go. Okay, so you add this to yourself. Hancog. What do you mean I'm out of hand? And then you add this to... Uh, you said 18, right? There you go. Uh, yes, 18. Apparently, I was marking things off the wrong way. Um, okay. Uh, you go for it. Um, you hit. I hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. And you did nine damage. It's nine. barely standing. Remember, you have, um, your sharpshooter power. So, um... You can choose to, uh, if you use that ability, you can take a minus five on your attack. Before you roll attack, you take a minus five, and if you hit, you do plus ten. Uh, okay. But you have to choose to do that before you roll. I forgot about that. But, uh, all right, yeah. he's still standing. I'll, I'll think about that next time. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, and, tracker, where'd you go? And Kyrian went. Here we are. Uh, Echo is in the hallway, Where's but the she's... Echo? can totally see that skillman that's right in front of her and she is going to eldritch blast because that's do be what warlocks do best she hits and ooh, it's still alive it's still alive although it didn't seem to do her uh her charisma damage for some reason why didn't it do her charisma damage because it should totally be dead, but I'll figure that out later. Um, okay. Next is... Is it going to pass this? Uh-oh. Fantasy Grounds, don't! Okay. Lucio! Wait. Gosh. Why did it go back up? Was it my turn? No. The game just freaked out. It's supposed to be a Zozo. Yeah. There you go. That was weird. All right, Zozo's turn. All right. Attempt to stab. You hit. And you did some damage. Oh, you, you actually knocked him out. Nice. Uh, that's skeleton 19 that you <laughs> just murdered. So he's gone. 
Come on, Fantasy Grounds. There you go. All right. Skeleton 18. Just hanging on by literally sinew and thread. It's going to take... Actually, um, evens is bear. Odds is Zozo. Evens is bear. All right. Just takes a swing at bear butt. Come at me, bro. Let's do it. Did a hit. For four damage. And patrol skeleton 21. Uh, closest to bear butt. So it's also going to smack at bear butt. That's a hit. For six damage. Uh, Vash's turn. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to <clears throat> swing at him with my mace. Miss. A two. Oof. You're just so grossed out by the grossness in this room that you just <laughs> slip and ugh. Uh, the smell is making you wanna up. Yeah. yeah. It is not a good place to be in. So then I'll just Also, everyone moving in this room, the whole room is difficult terrain because of all the body and grossness. Uh hit already went. Bear's turn. All right, time to take a smack at number 21 over here. Smack away. Smack. Uh, you hit. Awesome. Uh, done some damage, but he's still standing. And gonna go in with my claws. First time you haven't one shot one of them. Uh, definite hit. <laughs> And he's down. Pretty sure it's dead now. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. We go. All right, now it's Lucius' turn. Okay. Um. Hmm. You said it's difficult terrain, so. Mm -hmm. I... So every movement is double, or every square yeah. counts as ten. Ten. Plus five. Okay. That'll be where I can go, because 15 is 30, right? Yep. Alright, that's it. I'm going to <laughs> Attempt to attack uh, Skeleton 18. Uh, main hand. You That'll still be... hit with a 3? Uh, you, you hit with a 3. And, um, <laughs> and... I don't know if you guys can actually <laughs> miss. Uh, Alright, yikes. Yeah. Okay. Main damage. And he's down. Okay, then. I missed, but I blame it on Lucius Vomit. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there... Oh, there's one more skill standing. All right. So, you good? I thought you one-shotted that. There's uh, a there's one... No, south. One stairs, one below Echo. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's number 19 and number 8 left. Number eight. What? Yeah, so, below Echo. Uh, he's dead. Last round. I forgot to mark uh, him off. A bit. There you go. Um, but yeah, the nineteen is left. So, if you're done with your turn, go ahead and pass. Oh yeah, sure. Sorry. It's all good. Forgot again. Uh, Pancog, your turn. Okay. Um, I was gonna say I can't see this stupid skeleton, right? Mm-hmm. So you actually wouldn't know that there's a skeleton down there. Um, okay. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and cast Cure Wounds on the bear. 
Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it this time. Maybe. Yeah, healed for five. Nice. Uh, you marked it off as a spell you cast? Whoop. Yes, it's a first level spell. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Bear been healed for five. How you feeling there, bear? Oh, wait, you... Hold on, that's a... That's a touch spell, so you have to be right on top of bear. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm fuzzy. Yep. Just <laughs> a nice touch of the bear butt. Boop. <laughs> You're feeling slightly better than you were before. Uh, Echo is going to cast Blast and hope to murder this boy. Hits. And... Murders him. Another black energy explodes. So these things have no armor class whatsoever. Yeah, apparently you guys can just hit him by looking at him funny. All right. <laughs> uh, the last of the skeletons are down again. Uh, okay, how are you guys uh, proceeding? We have about 30 more minutes. And then uh, we can wrap up then. But, uh, yeah, okay. Well, I think I, I liked Lucio's idea of, of looting the bodies. You can look for loot. I mean, they're can bodies. They're, they're not, there's no clothes in there. Would that be investigation? Okay, well, can we look? Yeah, investigation. investigation. Also, roll for, oh, roll for constitution yeah, if you're going to stay in here. I'm going to leave. <laughs> it again yeah <laughs> I, that was i just rolled an 18 but for some reason it didn't count why uh did you not drag it on the chat i did and it just flung it might have been my mouse i'm fucking out let me try yeah. it again i'll do the constitution safe right, first so all right constitution and you just start oh, vomiting okay, okay. <laughs> that's great that's fantastic uh, uh but here's my investigation <laughs> I find absolutely nothing. Because like your face, you're, you're, you're like, because you are on your knees just vomiting. So obviously you can't investigate anything besides your own vomit. <laughs> uh, Pancog, you don't find anything, but you are like, as you're just picking up, why are you guys doing this? You're just picking up body pieces and just mulching through them and you're <clears throat> fucking vile. Um... I don't know why, but sure, that's what you guys are doing. The rest of the party is like, what the fuck is going on here? Echo's just gonna walk north here. Avasha, you said you're leaving, right? I mean, oh yeah. Okay. So I gross. Once Lucio starts like puking again, I just like book it out of there. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, Hancock, roll a constitution because Lucio is vomiting near you. See if you get sick. I did. Yeah, that was for your own constitution. Now that Lushu's rolling it, it's at a uh, disadvantage to so roll another one. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I gotta roll disadvantage. No, the second one will be your disadvantage roll. We'll just count it as one. Okay, so your first roll was your disadvantage, so you just... Well, then my original was the one. <laughs> and Lushu is just having a okay. day. He's just calling dinosaurs. Di he, he's just calling dinosaurs up. Just roar! Roar! <laughs> there you go. It's pig calls. All right. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and have Kyrian just like start dragging him out of that room. Okay. Um. Echo moves slightly further ahead. Uh, you guys can go ahead and, and freely move. Oh god. I'll follow. Okay, is that a start for Carrion to drag him out? Nah. I'm assuming he's willingly wanting to get out of there. Unless you really, really want to search those bodies while you're vomiting, Lushu. Uh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Picking uh, everything. I'm gonna head out. <laughs> just, you're just gonna let the the panther grab you, all right? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with me here and yeah. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, bro. You know that sort of thing. Okay. I don't want to be in a death room. Okay. So, did I find anything? No. 
in there. It was just body parts, man. No. Okay. You, your hands are just covered in vile, disgusting corpse meat. Oh, when we get out of this room, when I get out of my everyday job. Ew. When I get out of the room, I'm huh? gonna um. Let me double check what I put in my inventory real quick because my. Uh, for the sake of it. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have. Uh, no, that's antiseptic, that's poison protection, an antidote, anti infection, sobriety? Question. Since he's mm -hmm. dry heaving, would a sobriety type of herb help him out? Like no. Not vomiting anymore? No. Dang. It was just being in that room and the smell. Yeah, you're, he's fine now. I, I tried. Could I use. I know rations usually mean food and that, but I'm guessing rations are also food and water. Could I use one rations of the water to kind of wash <laughs> sure. like, myself? Sure. Oh, so smell. gross. Oh, all the body stuff is not well, I guess that would be your water can. I'm, 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 I'm meant to be stealthy, and if I yeah. smell like dead bodies, it's going to give me disadvantage on right. stealth later on, I think. So, I'd like well, to, um, uh, I think you have a, a water uh, thing, anyways. So rations would just be skin. food. Yeah, you have, you have a water skin. You can use that. You'll just have to fill it up again I'm later. Also gonna his, uh, okay, no, use that. Yeah, because his thing, and I'm going to go ahead and use my water skin to like wash off. Sure, because I'm sure the rest of your party's like, nah, you guys, thirty feet back. Yeah, you've been <laughs> That's why we're so far ahead. Also, the smart ones are up ahead. Munch on one of my uh, anti-infection okay. herbs, so that way I make sure that I don't like get sick from any of that stuff that I just was in. Sure. Okay. That uh, sure. You just mark it off in your inventory. Yep. And uh, you're just gonna move. Why can't you move, dude? It's not letting me move. Because you have to, like, wrap around the wall, otherwise it won't let you. There you go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently you can't move through your friends. There you go. Okay. Show them out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you guys are like, no, we're moving now. We know, we know, skeletons keep coming. <laughs> this is great. It appears we have hit a dead end, and we only have a choice to go to the left. You moving, carrying all the way up there? Yep. Hancock, why is your, I'm right behind him. your character is having the hardest time moving for some reason? <laughs> all right, um, there you go. Um, you, so there is a door I, right I'm there. Going. By the way, can I go ahead and knock a bow in my in my uh, in the bow just as a precaution? Sure. Before I, I, I can open this door. Mm -hmm. You gonna open it? Although I don't know how to open. Uh, I, um, if you move the mouse over it, it'll say close. Yeah, just oh, click there it. You there you go. Who opened it? Got it. I got it. You did. I did. Okay, well. Oh, dang it. I was going to get something funny. Oh. All right, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's hold fine. on. Okay. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. Uh, I was trying what were you going to do, Vasha? I was going to try to scare everybody and use thaumaturgy and make the door just like. Fucking do it, open. dude. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can do it as she's opening the door. We'll call it. Do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just because I'm kind of bitter about the whole like panther trying to kill Nugget situation. Okay, go, um, go ahead and explain what you do. Yeah, and because of that, I get twitchy with my bow when I, I draw it all the way back. Well, let, 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 let her explain what she's doing. So I cast okay. Thaumaturgy, and I instantaneously cause the door to just fly open. Um, it, like, slams up against the wall behind it, um, <laughs> just trying to scare the crap out of... Uh, Hancock. Hancock. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Sure. Yeah, you do that. Roll a. Uh, what would you roll? An insight check, I guess, Pancog. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, you you just make the doors slam open. Okay. Uh. Yeah. It. It. You get startled from that Pancog, so uh, you jump back. You know, five feet. <laughs> just kind of range or roll backwards with your bow ready. Freaked out. But, uh, nothing, nothing bad happens. You just kind of, what the fuck? <laughs> so, you can RP that if you so desire. Uh, no. Otherwise, there is a, there is a room right before you guys. I'm just behind you, like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, you guys can continue moving as you so desire. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the room. Okay. Bear's just having the hardest time moving through <laughs> this hallway. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too chunky. So. Yep. Well, I mean, we have a giant bear. There is a giant bear in the hallway. Man, a couple of you just... The game just does not want you to move right for some reason. Oh, right. I gotta okay, move. Echo. So... So you're in the room. Anything special about this room? Yep. Um, so in this room, this room is a lot better than the last room. Uh, there is a, there are many books and notes uh, throughout the room. Um, if you guys are, you're kind of scattering through them, you find out there, there are notes about the the necromancer's findings. Um, but uh, I suppose you guys can investigate further if you so desire. Not find anything, but uh, I'm going to see if there's any type of mal a trap in the room. A trap? Is that what you said? You know, like we move certain type of materials to it'll set something off. Um, sure, you can, you can do an investigation. It's like Indiana Jones. <laughs> sure, you you can uh use your investigation to find it. <laughs> okay. Um you get a, uh, you don't find any uh traps or anything, no. Um but you do Actually, uh is there anyone else in the room? No. Not the moment, no. Okay. Um anyone else checking the room out at all? Oh lord. You're going to make me do a mission. <laughs> initiative. The trap. No, there's 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 no traps. Yeah, you detect. Okay. Um. Let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the books on the shelves. I'm okay. assuming they're against the wall. Yeah, there's there's just a bunch and of books over there. Are they all in common or are they all in a different language? Yeah, it's all in common. Um, as you are kind of reading through some of the books, uh, you, you do stumble upon some stuff in the room. Um, we'll go ahead and add it to your guys' inventory. Wait, how do you get to that? <clears throat> uh, the party sheet. Where is that? Uh, in your top right, it has the pictures of the people. Uh, but yeah, you guys find some cloth, you know, there's a cloth, wads of cloth, uh, some ink, uh, there's a bunch of pieces of paper. Um, also there's a, seems to be another scroll. Can I take the, um, the three cloth? Sure. Awesome, I'll turn those into some sort of, like, tourniquet or bandages later okay oh this one went to echo right okay, um, the incantation 
Oh, I've got to say it slowly now. <laughs> the incantation scroll. Um, do we know what it is or do we have to investigate to figure out what it does? You should probably look into it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can I'll open it. it. There's some uh, information on it. I mean, yeah, I'll go ahead and open it. Uh, oh, okay then. So the, the note says... Uh, I'm relaying this to the, the party as well, uh, in-game. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I find I kill too many people with these storms. So now we're aware that he was the one causing the storm outside, I'm guessing. Thankfully, I have found a way to bring the peasants back to the mortal realm with the words Corin Tuit Mentoas to allow me to personally torture and use them as I see fit for my experiments. Okay. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> go ahead, Pancake. No, wait, no, no. You're good. Okay, Sorry. go ahead, Basha. Did he just say that out loud? Yeah. Yeah, he just said that out loud to you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Hold yeah, but, um, I've got... Uh, that is with that, with the inc um, incantation, it has to be constantly said for it to work, right? It's not just no. one time saying it. No. Nope. That's how the other one works. The other one works it as, it because it's... As long as you the, keep right, the, it. the other one says that because it is a, uh, it's a barrier, so you need to maintain a barrier. Fuck it. Let's go then. Great. Call initiative. Let's go. Why not? You Let's make it interesting. Why not? Yeah, but to be fair, it does say no. here to personally torture and use them as I see fit for my experiment. So it doesn't actually. It also says peasants. So it doesn't mean evil force. It doesn't mean anything else. Back it to the mortal realm. Back to the mortal realm. Yeah. So being uh, a necromancer, he could like you know send people away to another realm. He's bringing them back to torture them. Okay, well, Either way, let's see what happens. Fuck it. Like, it's like, no, I'm gonna no. back out of the doorway. <laughs> all stuck in a corner when things come to Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Lucio relays that information. Uh, he reads that out loud. Uh, you guys don't know exactly what that spell does because all you've done is just read it. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, try to make you guys do something. I would, I would feel that since Echo read the last one to try to figure out what it does, um, she would intervene and say, uh, let me take a look at it. Would you guys be okay with that? You know, I don't, I don't want to yes. take yeah. over your guys' play. Um, okay, so Echo, uh, spins you know a few seconds uh observing it uh just to see what's going on and actually i can do this to make life easier um so one of you guys can actually relay it so i don't have to um neat oh, no. so that happens as well um cool let me get back to what i was at sorry um Echo kind of uh, relays uh, the information. Uh, if Lushu, you want to read it, if or if you want, um, it has now been revealed what it does. Oh, I thought when I was reading it, then that was that was me. That that is uh, re you were reading like the notes that you were reading, but uh, now that Echo is reading it, she can relay what it actually is doing, or or how the incantation is used. Ah. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, how is it used? <laughs> uh, if you open it up, it'll show you. Uh, whenever the verse up, show of this incantation is recited, all creatures and beings killed by the storm, and storm is capitalized here, are brought back into the material realm. So that storm was was definitely trying to kill us. It says here, range forty feet. So does that mean only within 40 feet of our area, those who died in that 40 feet would be resurrected? Mm. What you could, uh... That's actually not that bad. That's one set of skeletons. Well, they didn't die of the storm, so... Actually, I don't know. Because the storm's outside, not in the cave. Mm. Well, but 
you recited those. Anything that was killed in the storm, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Within 40 feet of us, right? Yes. Because that's the range of the thing, 40 feet. Well, we're inside. Nothing would have... I don't think anything would have been killed, considering, you know, if I move that, that's 40 feet. So... I don't know, how would that work? Um, so... No, everything... I mean, you guys are... You guys are safe because nothing has been killed by the storm in here, right? But there are a couple skeletons popping out of the ground because of uh, the timer. Ah, the timer that happened, had happened. So I got I got to drag those like on here. Daisies. Yeah, like daisies. Where are they? Oh my God. This is a pain in the ass. Actually, you know what? I'm going to skip that timer this time because, oh my God, there's too many. The combat tracker is bananas long. Um. So we're you made it to the edge or the end of the uh. I guess the last room. Uh, it seems to be a dead end now. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. I turn to the party members and I say, "This appears to be the very last room on this side." Now, the real question is, do we circle back and continue to see if there's anything on the right side of when we enter? Or do we leave this place? Can we, this is out of character, can we tell um, if the storm has subsided? Oh, uh, no, you're deep in a cave. Okay. Um, um, oh, also, I forgot to say, uh, as you guys were looking through those notes and stuff, you've have come to inspection of his notes, you come to find out that the necromancer has been bonded with a being known as the underling. Hmm. Um, um, since my awareness is still up, since it's there for an hour, um, do I still feel any undead? Uh, you guys have been here for a little over an hour, so you would, you'll have to recast if you want okay. Never mind then. um there's also a diary that you guys found um it has you know images or drawings i guess and notes uh depicting uh zelver showing he's gained increased proficiency at being able to capture and use the souls he takes um it's also made clear that uh he's mastered the process and is preparing to make an army of undead I think it would be wise to take this diary to Eldred to see what sort of assistance, because there is an arm in Necromancer raising an army. There's only so much our bear can do. <laughs> There's only so much that we can do as a party. So maybe letting Eldred be aware of this could get some backup. Um, is it possible that we can send Kyrian ahead to take it to Eldred and we uh, continue to explore the caves? Uh, Kyrian would have to make it back to the teleport area and he would have to know how to use it. Uh. Um, I'm gonna say, you know, wh whoever found the diaries, flipping through it, uh, finding more, um, you will also learn that, uh, Zelver has created this cavern, uh, for the purpose of creating the army, um, and also that the cavern ha has an opening above it. Uh, to a place known as the Soul Cairn, where he can amplify his, his powers. We have a druid, right? Mm hmm. Hi. They have Skyrite. <laughs> what? If, she if she has it prepared. If she has it prepared. How long does it take to prepare Skyrite? Fucking giggling. Yeah, you have to do it on a, a rest. But even at that, I think Skyrite, you need a vision or view of the sky, and you are most certainly in a. So, I mean, we can leave the cave, and because it is a long distance, because it is, you know, we have to go back to the teleporter and everything like that, we could send something up into the sky as cool. a message to Eldred. I think Skyrite is pretty short message, and on top of that, you're a few hundred miles away. Remember, because you had to take the oh, teleport, because okay. it was like a few weeks' walk. Hang on. 
Good ideas, though. I like the way you're thinking. Uh, yes, um, yeah, Skyway only goes up to 10 words. Yeah. <laughs> Eladrid, yeah, bad, dead. evil, dead things come alive. Undead army. <laughs> Undead things are being so <laughs> Um. So I'm going to assume that we're heading back to the beginning of the cave. Yes. Sure. I would like to not be cornered when more skeletons pop up. <laughs> <laughs> um. Actually, you know what? I can. I'm just gonna move you guys all the way to the beginning. It's so much easier. Eh. Eh. I really hate that you have to avoid walls. Like, just... I'm the DM. Let me, let me move them through it. It's so much easier. And I like that Eva's just been staying bare this whole time. That's the way I'm most useful. I'm a bear! Right. Okay, so... You guys are near the beginning of the, uh, the cave here. Um, I think this might be a good time to stop so our friends can, or, well, Serial can get up at a decent time and, you know, we, we, we do practice mental health here. But, uh, how are you guys feeling? Oh, oh my god, that was so much combat. <laughs> uh, I feel, I feel fine. Okay. Uh, we're not almost dying now. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure that nobody... Nope. Nobody's in immediate danger of dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll switch over to... Uh, there we go. How's everyone's life doing? Everyone moderate, light, healthy? Yeah, you guys are doing fine. Heck yeah. Um, it will be above. But yeah, if you guys are good, I suppose we can call it here. In immediate need of a potion. Oh, crap. We're gonna be... Alright, we'll be down uh, Vasha next week. Um... <laughs> Because we'll we'll figure something out there. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't want to say anything in case <laughs> it, <fine. laughs> it was it's something you didn't want out there. But yes, Sorry. everyone, congratulate Vasha. She's getting married to a cool dude. I like him a lot. So congratulations, my friend. I didn't. Mean to. Congratulations. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah. Uh, so I guess we can pick up next week. Um. Unless, you know, some crazy stuff happens and a lot of people have to cancel or something. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, that was five different little combats of zombies or skeletons popping up. There should have been two more, technically, but I canceled a couple. <laughs> um, but I do hope you guys are having fun. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next week. So, uh, maybe we'll get a surprise visit of, you know, Vash is showing up in a wedding dress. <laughs> But you guys have anything to say? Anything to bring up? Oh, good, my dude. Good to call it here. Oh, yeah. kind of fun, though. Cool. Awesome, my friends. Uh, I guess this is uh, we were we'll call it and uh, all that good stuff. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, cereal. Get some sleep. Take care of yourself, everyone. Oh, get some food. Get some water. Practice your self care. And uh, I guess we'll catch you guys next week. Hi, uh, my dudes. You guys have a good afternoon. I think it's for you guys now. You guys yep. have a good afternoon. 5 p.m. I'll see you guys later. See ya. <laughs> later, guys. Bye. All right. All right, my friends. This is uh, obviously where we're going to call it. That was bananas. That was so many combats. And <laughs> oh, they hit them on like twos. That was bananas. Um, That's what happens when there's some lowy skeleton. But, uh. They, they, they took a little bit of damage. Uh, I do hope you guys are enjoying the campaign. I'm excited to find out what's going to happen next week. Um, hope you guys are having fun. If you guys are, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out a lot. Let's, well, lets us know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt on the shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Let me catch up on chat. Make sure uh, we got some good stuff going on here. Uh, sorry, I try to fully immerse ourselves into the game and not get distracted, but uh, let me catch up on chat here. Josh, I don't know what you're laughing at, but I see it. It's a shame the door alerted more enemies. What's up, Metal? They're going to pop up anyways. That is true. That a bunch of Skeleboys just kept popping up. Mean Bear is satisfied. All right, I'm glad. 
<laughs> Bear is real MVP. I try my best. I love it. Oh man, I, I I enjoy so much playing with you guys. Like, some I get all stressed out. I'm like, oh god, am I prepared? I don't know what I'm doing. Blah 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 blah. And I get all stressed out. And then once we actually get like 30 minutes into it, and we just kind of hit our, the stride, it's just I just enjoy it. I enjoy playing each and every one of you. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Also, I should say uh, that if anyone you know isn't feeling it or need to duck out or whatever, you know, there's no pressure. Don't feel, you know, like you're holding anything up. You just talk to us and say, hey, I can't be a member or I can't play as much anymore or I have to take a hiatus, whatever you need. You know, this is it's an open table, um, whatever you need where, you know, mental health is a priority. But my friends, I already did most of my outro. Um, I'm going to go probably eat some foods. Smart me would do some video editing as much as I really don't want to do that. Um, maybe I'll take care of some. And then uh, maybe next week, or uh, maybe I'll play some games tonight. Um, we'll see, I guess. We'll see if I'm, I'm smart. Oh my gosh. Literally raiding as I'm ending. What's up, Spectre? <laughs> How's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. What were you playing? You're playing Hell Sign. Ooh, what's that? Hell Sign. That's, I just like the name. That sounds cool. That is a lot of foxes. Is that a new one? Is, that's a new emote. I haven't seen that one yet. How's it going, guys? Sorry, we literally just finished wrapping up. Uh, I can give you a recap. What happened is... Uh, here, we'll switch over to this mode so you guys can actually see what's going on. It's a top-down spooky investigator thing. Neat. Um, so this is what the map was. Uh, oh, actually, you, you, you see in DM mode now, so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, the characters ran through this little cave. They found out it is a cave where a necromancer resides. He's been raising an undead army. They just found that out. Um, and as they were making their way through the cavern, uh, they kept getting ambushed by more skeletons. Uh, but they found a couple incantations uh, that the necromancer uses. One of them is to uh, repel uh, minions that he has created, as well as another one uses uh, is an incantation to resurrect any uh, anything that was killed by the magical storm that he creates kind of thing and so they just found that out so they're going back to the mouth of the cave here um and looks like they were going to go to the right area that they haven't uh investigated yet uh but i am excited uh to find out what is going to be happening i appreciate the raid uh how's everyone this is uh i mean i'm in this mode because this is the, the outro mode literally just missed everyone <laughs> that means at least 21 more hours of streaming exactly Um, I, I can't answer that actually, Spectre, because we have players in chat and uh, I don't want to spoil anything from them. Um, but yeah, I, I can never anticipate how much, uh, or how far the players are going to make it. I thought this whole, I don't know, this is like part of the main story, I guess. Uh, I thought it was going to be done in like a single session, maybe two. Uh, we're going to be pushing three, uh, next week. Um, but they're going to be finding out what is to the right. And I can't say anything because spoilers. Uh, your neck hurts and you're tired. Were you, were you like all hunched over playing games today? Make sure you take care of yourself, my dude. Also, I want to check out the, that game. That sounds fun. Hell sign. Although, depends on how spooky it is, right? Because I, uh, I'm, I'm a screamy boy. Oh, you hurt neck, dude. You hurt your neck waking up. Doesn't it suck getting old or just sneezing can just throw out your back? It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> Not fun. I don't enjoy. But yeah, all those those red dots, those were all the skill. Oh, well, I'm not on the scene anymore. All those red dots were uh, <laughs> all the skeletons they fought. I think they fought at least 20 of them uh, throughout the night because <laughs> I kept after a certain amount of time more would just spawn so that was the first time I've done that and whoo a lot more showed up than I anticipated you definitely feel, feel older than your age yeah right like 
Actually, not quite sure how old you are, but once you once you hit 30, like when your body's warranty expires, that's exactly when your body's like, cool, time to really fall apart now. Hate it. How am I doing? I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. We've been streaming for really only three hours. Feels longer than that. Uh but we had a we had a good session today. We got a we we didn't have the full group yes or last week. Um so had to do some bouncing around until the uh, other player was able to join in today but that was good we got a uh, got some good combat in hanging out had some good meme time got a got a bear just walking through the cave and barely fitting through some of the areas <laughs> creeping on 40 <laughs> bear wave yes I feel that um, what was I going to say? Oh! I don't even know why I said oh. Oh, because I was... This is my brain process. I, I had to... I had to think of my own brain process, how my brain process got somewhere. ADHD, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, you've been doing some art, Spectre. And, uh, it's made me think, it's like, I'm trying to... I'm thinking about doing, uh... I'm cleaning out my whole storage area to... Hopefully get some, uh, well, because it used to be my craft area, but I just ended up turning into my storage. I really want to, uh, turn that back into my craft area because I have, like, candle carving equipment in there, and I really want to try that again. Um, uh, but I really want to start using my 3D printers again because ever since I, I had them on my kitchen table, and then I had to clean up a bunch of stuff for when people came over for when we had to put mamas down. And I haven't put them, set them back up, and I don't want them on my kitchen table, so they've just kind of been in storage again. But I came up with an idea that I want to do for actually using those again, and I I got some like semi-translucent black resin that uh, I'm gonna print some like dragons, and I want to print them and then use some other type of resin and give it a, like a dark tint and have a like a D20, right? I'm gonna drill a hole in it and put a little like LED light or something inside of it and then I'm gonna put it in right next to the dragon so it looks like he's having a dragon horde and then I want to do one of those excuse me 3d mural paintings if you know what they are where you you pour some resin you paint on it pour some more resin paint on it so it makes it like have depth of field and I want to do something like that and make it look like there's like like a dragon coming out of the darkness because the tint of the the resin around it is gonna be dark so I want it to look like he's coming out but then that D20 has a little light that's gonna flicker and so you, you'll you see like him oh my brain it sounds really fucking cool and like the the layers of paint I want to do is like you know just gold coins and rubies or whatever throughout it it sounds really cool and I hope it really works but that was a just to get the basics and stuff for that was was a ADHD brain impulse buy and I'm just like yeah, ignore it but if I do it on stream, then I can claim it on my taxes and get a little slight write off. Dude, dude, I love your art. It's so incredible. I, yeah, I want to stream it, but, uh, I don't know how I can do it is the thing right now. Um, what, what I'm thinking of doing is cause I have an old PC that is slightly better than my buddy Yeti's and I built it. We just need to transfer one of his hard drives when I'm thinking. I'll give him my old PC and I'll see if I can just essentially trade him for his old PC. And then I can maybe use that one as a stream PC and just have very bare bone minimum, you know, just because what, what I need, I need a camera just to look at what I'm doing. And unfortunately that would have to be upstairs uh, where the craft room is, but I would really like to have something there to stream it. But I also don't know how viable that is especially when it comes to resin because normal resin takes you know hours to cure but if you get uv resin which is insanely more expensive i might be able to get away with that and just do pours and paints but at the same time i could do other paints um i have a bunch of models and stuff that i can print um so i kind of want to do that so i suppose i could do like the resin painting kind of stuff make progress and then you know have some other 3d models that i'm painting and i don't know it would be fun to stream um but i don't know if i'd want to make a new channel 
Uh, I kind of don't want to because I would rather not have to start over, but at the same time, I don't want to confuse the channel. I don't know. I have an awesome community, so I don't think people would really care. And people that do care, like, well, don't tune in for the gaming ones if you don't like it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. But if you have to process, you could keep that too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I have to do some thinking about it, but I have a, I have a bunch of stuff that I had to order. I had to, had to order a, a pressure pot, which is essentially just a, a paint thing for like automated painting. And I just have to convert it to a pressure pot to help with uh, the resin and stuff. I was thinking on a particular day too, uh, like maybe one day throughout the week that it's either I keep my normal gaming schedule, which is four days a week. And then I have D and D, which is today. So that leaves two days. I can do a craft stream. I don't know if that's going to become exhausting. I guess we'll have to play it by ear. And if that, it does become too tiring. Maybe I'll just knock out one of the days, like a Thursday or something and be like, Hey, Thursday's craft days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is game day. So I don't know. I'll probably put up some discord messages to see what people feel like, but I'm excited. Like. Um, there's a channel reward or not a channel reward, a community reward that people have already fully funded, uh, that I months ago and I just haven't gotten to it, but I got the Bloodborne board game and it came with hundreds of models. And one of them was to play that on stream where stream controls the rest of the hunters. And the other one was to do a Bloodborne painting stream. So I still need to do that, but I just recently redid my stream area. And I used to have a table that I would put in front of me, in front of my desk, but I have a new desk and it's too big now. And the table, I have to work sideways now. And I, the, the table legs are side on here, right? And so there's, it's really awkward and it's hard to do. So if I could do it upstairs, it would make it a lot easier. Um, and then I, upstairs would be nicer too, because it's like a tight, it's a smaller room. The lighting's better. It's not downstairs. It's I wouldn't use a green screen. I would just have like background decorations again, but we'll see. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited to get back into some crafting. I would really want to paint. I want to paint some Bloodborne models. I, I have to restrain myself because I was like, dude, if I make those 3D murals and they actually turn out real cool, I can make Bloodborne 3D murals. And I'm like, ooh, that sounds amazing. But then I'm using my Bloodborne models that are meant to be for the game to be like a mural thing. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. It's my brain just went down in one of these holes. I was like, oh man, and then you can have bits of it like flickering lights and have LEDs and do all sorts of crazy cool stuff. If you guys follow the Nerd Forge, incredibly talented people that do some insanely nerdy stuff with cosplay, weapon making, terrain making, the ideas of like the 3D murals, all that stuff. It's like they do everything. It's incredible. And so like just watching them just make ideas pouring out. It looks so cool. You got a new desk to really help? Yeah, yes. Yeah, my desk is way bigger. My last one. I love it because I can use both monitors in normal mode now, but I definitely have less room. Yes, have you have you seen the Bloodboard board game models? They're actually really cool. Um, when I kickstarted it, I got the whole expansion. So I have way too many models, <laughs> but they're so cool. And my, my thought was to paint some of the, uh, the hunters and stuff first, because obviously that's what you're going to be playing with most. But I, I got some like clay and um, some rolling pins that have. What are they called? Templates on them so you can actually like make cobblestone and stuff. So I want to make some of that. Paint them all up, make them look all cool. I mean, it has a Bloodborne game with all the extras, but oh man. Yeah, I, uh, YouTube, I think I, there's a video on YouTube of I, d I did a full unboxing and uh, showed off some of the models and stuff, but I'm excited. I just have to make myself have time uh, to do it because Saturdays are generally the days I do all stuff like that. Yeah, I have a YouTube. I mean, oops. YouTube. There you go. Uh, mostly it's, it used to be just the straight up VODs that were just straight from YouTube or uh, Twitch. 
Uh, but lately, I've been doing uh, some very minor editing just to cut out like the dead space. And most of the time it cuts out like an hour, hour and a half of my normal stream times to try to keep things interesting. Um, but oh my god, it takes so much time and I hate video editing so much. Anyone that does that for a job, they're like, I'm convinced that they're a masochist because I hate it so much because it takes almost the same amount of time that, you know, I stream for three hours. It takes like an hour and a half to two hours to edit it. And I hate it. it sucks. I even have tools to like help speed up the process and I absolutely despise it. Ugh. But yeah, so I'm um, one of the things I need to do is I need to edit some videos that I've done recently playing Fallen Order and I kind of I'll probably put up the the build of the Batmobile that I just did. It'll be the first Lego build that I've actually put up on YouTube. All the other ones I just did on Twitch and then didn't upload them. But this one I might. We'll see. Maybe I'll super time lapse it because it was like a seven and a half hour build. So if I've time lapsed that down to like 10 minutes, it's going to look insanely fast. Yeah, it's it just sucks, man. That's part of why I heart. Yeah, I, I thought about doing that, but like I stream too much to be able to afford an editor. <laughs> like it's I stream for at least four days a week at about three hours a day and at 12 hours of video editing. Oh, like I hate doing it enough. It's like you know, I'd want to pay them a decent wage. I wouldn't want to try to take advantage of them for anything. So, oh, like, ah, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to put that pain on anyone else. You got the Darth Vader's head. Nice. Uh, I got that one and a few of the other ones I have. I keep buying Lego sets. And I keep not building them because my brain is like, oh, build it on stream. I think I have 15 sets at least in my room right now, just waiting to be built. I did just finish the Batwing and it came and uh, we installed a lighting kit that's on Instagram. I think you might have seen it. Um, those lighting kits are a pain in the ass, but it makes it look real cool. Um, I did get the, uh, what's it called? The Razor Crest. And I forgot about that because I bought it so long ago, but that one looks real fun. Yes, I actually had a Dino Keys in my brain. I didn't know H-Bomb was an editor. But like... I don't... I don't make enough to uh, afford one of them. Like, you know? I don't, I don't... Also, I don't know how much an editor makes, but I'm assuming it's like 20 bucks an hour. And that's... That's a lot of money. That's like... So if they did... That's like a hundred bucks a week. Oh, I can't afford that. That's at least a hundred bucks a week. Can't afford it. That's rough. Although, at the same time, part of my brain's like, yeah, but help out a friend. Throw some money that way. It's like, yeah, but you need a house. And to pay for food. <laughs> I don't know. I get... It might come in the future depending on how the channel performs and I don't know, maybe I'll because part of the reason I bought 3D printers too was to sell stuff and try to help pay for mama's medical bills, but all that stuff happened. So um, I don't know, maybe if uh, the crafting stream takes off and I'm able to sell some of the stuff I make on like an Etsy or something that could definitely become a uh, possibility in the future. That would make things way easier on me because I hate editing. It sucks so bad. Yeah, money is expensive. Yes. Why is money got to be expensive? Right? Money doesn't buy happiness. All right, cool. Let me go cry in my mansion. Darn. Import tax bill. I thought... What's an import tax bill? Oh! Did you import something and got taxed for it? Oof! Did you get a car or something? Also, this I've been having this cave music going on in the background. Hold on. <laughs> Let's get something else. Freaking cave music. Just just anything else other than this. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. I, I like this playlist. We'll just listen to this. 
There you go. Different tunes. When I was looking at getting a car like eight years ago or something, because I live in I live in a mountainous state, so all wheel drive cars get their prices are way inflated compared to like flatlandy states like Nebraska. Um, so I was looking at getting a uh, an Evo, and it was like eight grand cheaper in Nebraska than it was here. So I was like, fuck it, I'll drive to Nebraska and go pick it up. And then I started looking at import taxes like, oh, but if you buy it in Nebraska, then you gotta buy t pay Colorado taxes. And I was like, well, that sucks. You got some fancy new flight sticks from Lithuania. They didn't include the taxes when you bought them. Really? Oh, that sucks. Oof. That also sounds sketchy as hell. Like, if I've got a, a separate tax bill on anything I'd bought, and be like, um... Shouldn't you have bought that or wrapped that up into my total already? Although, I don't know how anything works over part of the EU. Oh, it's because you're no longer part of the EU. I didn't know that. When did that happen? The queen wants her cash, baby! <laughs> Is that why you guys left? You didn't want to pay for the fucking... Didn't want to pay the queen? Oh, that was Brexit. Okay, gotcha. See, us, us dumb Americans don't even know about who's EU and who's not. I'm sure I get that mixed up. Even like Britain. What's the thing Americans get mixed up a lot? They get mixed up with Britain and England, right? Right? See, now I'm getting myself confused. I don't know. I, I suppose that could be very similar to, you know, people over in Europe not understand, like, not getting, like, some states or whatever. They think England is Britain. Yes, yes, okay. It's not. Just England. Does anyone in the EU or uh, Europe get confused with like states and stuff I don't know obviously being a person that lives in the states I haven't really interacted with someone that would be like get confused between California and New York or something yeah we do love Scotland the first person I dated was a Scot actually she was born in Scotland and I think she moved here when she was 12 a lot of funny stories with that. As, like being in school and as, I should move the chat over here so I can talk to you guys. Being in school and, you know, innocently asking someone for a rubber. When uh, in America, we call those erasers. And uh, rubbers are uh, definitely condoms here. the kilts and accent pancake <laughs> where it likes the Irish <laughs> also I did find out something recently uh, she always called yogurt yogurt which you know makes sense but I found out it's because people over Across the pond, spell yogurt with an H. So it definitely is yogurt over there. Here we have no H, so it's yogurt. Also, aluminium. That one always gets me. It's like, there's an, you're putting an extra I. It's N U M. But everyone, you guys all pronounce it with N I U M, aluminium. Definitely had some uh, goofy discussions with her on that one. She could not say al aluminum. She tried so like, she's like, that's that's a word I can't Americanize. It's aluminium. I give up. <laughs> I 
Yes, actually, real kilts are very expensive. Because we were gonna go, I think her, uh, her brother was gonna get married and they were gonna have a Scottish wedding. And uh, we had to start looking at, I was like, oh dude, do you think I should get a kilt too? And she kind of looked at me. It's like, you're not getting a crappy kilt. I was like, no, I'd, I'd get a good one. And she's like, nice kilts are way expensive. I was like, oh, cool. And then they decided to postpone the wedding for a while. <laughs> so I didn't have to get one. Actually, there's a reason why they spell color, like armor, anything like that, that O-R here in America. It's because when the typewriter was out um, and you had to send a message to someone, every letter cost money. So they found just dropping the U in a lot of our words was cheaper. So that's why we don't use the U's anymore. Fun fact. Aluminium. Yes, aluminium. <laughs> garage. That was another one for garage. Yeah, no problem. I'm full of useless facts. <laughs> oh, I should probably change. I like this playlist. Chill. Wait, why why you get nails on chalkboard? I missed something. Also, it's late for you, Spectre. It's like almost, at least almost one o'clock, right? Have you watched a show with a British lizard that said, oh, aluminium? Oh, <laughs> the garage pronounce, uh, pronunciation. <laughs> Some fabric feels horrible. Uh, 100% agree. I can't touch, uh, I can't touch cotton, cotton balls. It makes me itch, like, and it makes me grind my teeth. I hate it. I hate it so bad. Like when, ah, when, uh, like there's cotton things in, uh, like pill bottles. I have to get someone else to take it out. It's just, oh, I fucking hate it. Oh, I got you. Yeah, half midnight. Yeah. So your your same time as uh cereal. What are you doing, Jedda? Yeah. Yes. Just uh it does Sometimes it doesn't even make a sound, but even just because I think about touching it and I hate it. I hate it so much. Ugh. Oh, I got so cold. Yeah, I hate it. I don't like it. I'm going to politely look at <laughs> Discord. Fucking everyone's posting bear pictures in Discord because of Eva. <laughs> This is great. Ah, oh, I love my players. They're fucking hilarious. Just posting pictures of bears and bear memes. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. They're good people. Yeah, I, I guess that's just uh, that's just payback for that feet thing I did for you, Spectre. So we'll call it even now. Ugh. Yeah, not a. Not, and I know I, I can pinpoint it because it's a, apparently it's a scar memory of when I immediately hated cotton, and it was because I was at school. I was in first grade, and we were doing like these little mini group things, or like I don't even know what you call them, discovery groups or something. And I went into this. I finished some of my other ones, and you just kind of went down the line. And that was a new one, and the teacher had filled up a bunch of, wow, this is going to date me, 
a lot of younger people are not gonna know what this means, but film canisters, like that you had to put in old cameras, she'd fill them up with stuff and then you'd shake them or whatever and you had to find out. Ugh. You had to try to guess what was inside them or whatever, just for fun. And one of them made no noise. So I was just like empty or whatever. And like I, I popped it open and I was talking to someone and I reached in and I grabbed the, ah, the cotton and I and it like ah, between my fingers. And somehow it just gave me the willies really bad. And ever since then, just ruined. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, you're not alone in that, though, Spectre. My, uh, my buddy Yeti, uh, roommate, he is, uh, he's very much the same level as you. And I, I, I sent him that, that clip. And, uh, he's like, oh, I felt, I felt the same thing. And so, uh, Videl was laughing at it, and then she posted my phobia in Discord too, and I hated my life for the rest of the night. He <laughs> won't torment me much yet. Yeah, uh, ugh, awful, awful stuff. It's only funny when I do it to other people, guys. It's not funny when you do it to me. It's rude. <laughs> hmm. Anyways. I really don't want to do editing. It's not fun. I'm, I'm like two weeks behind on editing too. Let me, hold on. Like, I think I'm still putting up, I'm still putting up coffee talk videos and I beat that two weeks ago. I have <laughs> four, I have the Lego building stream. I have four videos of Fallen Order. I am so far behind. Fine. <laughs> oh, it's fine, my dude. Thanks for hanging out and chatting with me. I, I enjoy chatting with you guys. But uh, yeah, it's it's getting late for you too, so I should let you get to uh actually relax and eat. And thank you again for the raid, my dude. I appreciate you. We'll have to. Also, I, we may have brought it up at some point. I don't remember. Um, if you do want to make a guest appearance in a D, D or something at some point, you know, just let me know and uh, we can figure something out. It could be fun. There's a lot of cool people that uh, I think it would be fun to bring in for guest appearance, especially ones that have said uh, they've had not not the best experiences in D and D. Uh, and I think D and D is for everyone, and uh, anyone can make it what they want to be. And it breaks my heart when I hear someone had a a really bad experience kind of thing so uh, i know some people that uh, i've offered that up to and they're, they're thinking about it but you know i understand if they've had a bad experience they're gonna have that bad taste in their mouth and that just breaks my heart but you have zero experience you're more than welcome to join in um up until recently half the players that were in the campaign uh learned picked up DD with this campaign so they're learning a kind of thing and uh it's fun, especially if you like the idea of, I mean, if you like role playing games, then you're already set for D and D. You just kind of make up your own stuff as you go. D D and D is great because it's like video games that are unbound. You know, video games like yeah, that it's an open world, and here's all the stuff you can do, but it is contained in code. Technically, you can't do something that isn't coded up. D and D literally have the possibility of doing whatever the fuck you want kind of thing so possibilities are endless and i love that that's what makes it fun especially when you have a good group of people you know that that is that is number one fundamental in my brain is you gotta have you gotta have good people uh, otherwise they ruin the experience i'm um, not just the, the gameplay but it's just like man you just that was not fun kind of thing you know anyway but yeah, if it's something that uh, you would be interested in doing, dude, could be fun. Could even make you like come in as a bad guy. I thought about that. Have someone coming in as a bad guy. They play big Gordon some time time, but D and D passes you got you by. Gotcha. I mean, D and D is also it's very much a time commitment too. So understand. A lot of people can't 
commit that time. And me as a player, I am not, I consider myself not a good player um, at D&D &D, um, because all I, I, the struggle I found is I focus too much on combat. Like that's what I excel at. I am a, I want to beat people up to the best of my ability. Even if I play like a somewhat of a pacifist, like I don't want to kill people, but if I'm going to be doing combat, I need to be the best at the combat. I need to be my top dog. And then the rest of it, I just kind of skirt through. And I hate that about myself, but it's difficult to pull me out of that. Unless I have an idea that the rest of the party hasn't come up with already. Kind of thing, you know? Yeah, consistent with time. Yeah. And I understand that. And like, you know, the, the thing that, uh, like that safety toolkit above is... You know, the, the, ta the table is an open table. So if, even during mid-session, if someone needs to get up for any sort of reason to be like, I, I can't play, something came up or have a headache or anything, it's like an open table. Just like you, you take care of yourself. Your mental health comes first. Like if you got to get up, no hard feelings, no nothing. We, we can do what you need. Um, And that's another thing is a lot of the, the guests uh, parents people that I've talked to is like I can't commit two weeks like that's fine it's like if you want to show up once or twice that's totally fine uh, do a little one shot stuff that's always fun to me so I don't know there, and you could like if people if you enjoy it or when I say you I mean anyone that has had that interest is like if you enjoy it and you wanted to make a like a reoccurring appearance every now and then, totally welcome to, kind of thing. So, I don't know. I thought about doing like a one-off campaign too, of just like saying, "Hey, this date at this time, I'm gonna do a random one-shot campaign with six people. If you want to be in on it, go make a character. And if there's more than six people that are part of it, maybe we'll do a drawing or something." And just have a go good one off. I don't know. Random things I've thought of. Oh. I ran out of coffee like two hours ago. I ran out of drink. There are quite a few big D and D people in the community. Are there? I was not aware. Actually, I, I guess I wasn't aware, but anytime like D and D is brought up in any of the channels. Like, I've noticed a lot of people like, heck yeah, or whatever. The Mesmer suit and tomato. Really? Oh, I knew. Actually, I did know tomato was big because he's popped into the stream a couple times and hung out. I haven't interacted with uh, Mesmer much, though. So. Um, that's, I think, just because most of the time when I'm hanging out in <laughs> any of those or suits, tomatoes are your channel. I'm usually working because or I'm lurking because I'm working. But yeah, I know uh, Suit Gomez and Tomato. I know of Mesmer, but I don't think I've directly interacted with them much. Yeah, d and is just great just because it's... Possibilities are endless. Mesmer does his campaign on stream too. <gasps> I didn't know that. I'm gonna have to go check him out. I'm, I'm certain I follow them. That's my chair. Are you telling me that the ah. fucking... The heck? Okay. Either something happened or Twitch did the Twitch thing and it made me unfollow. I hate when that happens. Randomly unfollows people that you followed. Not cool, bro. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Actually, now that I have Twitch open... Maybe we'll uh we'll go raid Koopo. She's playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV, which I was thinking about if I get you know my stuff done. Maybe I'll play some of that because I haven't played it in a while, and that game is stinking fun. But yeah, let's go uh let's go raid Koopo. Oh no! Please don't blow up! Please don't blow up! Oh cool, that button works even in uh, this other scene. But anyways, my friends, I already did most of my outro. Um, Spectre, again, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate you guys being here. I uh, hope you guys are having fun with the campaign. 
Um, I'm excited for next week. Um, let's go raid Koopo. Lovely Bean playing some Final Fantasy 14. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm invasive. Quarantine was here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.